four, three, two. Foot soldiers assemble. I am your host, Ethan Klein. Seven, almost a seven on Wiki Feet. Not quite, but close. Do you think, and of course, Ela Klein, the legendary uh, five star general. Thank you. Good luck, Ethan. We kind of have our own MAGA cult with the foot soldiers, don't we? Would you guys storm the Capitol building for me? <laughs> if I told you the election was stolen? James Charles, the election was stolen. What do you think? No. Too late. Oh, this is challenging. Hello. <laughs> Give me the... Oh, no. We were just doing it before we went live. Oh, no. Thank you. I love that sound, but... <laughs> Anyway, yes, the title of the podcast is not clickbait. It is a legitimate question. Was James Sar Charles inside the Capitol <laughs> building? Was James Sister. Charles inside the Capitol building? I'm just asking questions. Has he accounted for where he was? Does he have an alibi? Interesting. <laughs> that is so true. Right. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, there's no evidence as far as I'm aware that he wasn't there. But there is evidence that he's a super spreader, which we'll get into later. This episode brought to you by MeUndies. Thank you, Dan. This episode is sponsored by MeUndies. <laughs> what a week. It's our first week back. This is our first After Dark since coming back. Thank you to everyone who's becoming a member in the chat. I see you. I love you. God bless you, mother effers. We're going to have to try and make more of an effort to um, post the videos early. You know, I think we should just start, Dan, going forward. We should just post them the evening of whenever. Just boom. Like, including frenemies, you know? Okay. Yeah. We're going to just start getting them all up the day before because, you know what? We got we to gotta do it. We got to do it. The problem is we've just been... It's just everything's so tight, you know? Well, we didn't actually record a normal episode this week. Yeah, because of what happened. There, there should right. Have been Our normal episode. episode was live. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, you guys will be happy to know that I'm not here to discuss about politics at all. I have erased that from the document because this is After Dark, where we come to have fun, have laughs, goof around, spoof mm -hmm. around, and wonder. So, here, was James Charles the QAnon shaman? Oh, my God. This is the T. Is he a QAnon shaman? Um, what's causing you to ask the question? I'm just saying, what was his alibi? Okay. Where was he at the time? Have you ever seen the QAnon shaman and James Charles in the same place? Interesting. No, I have not. Yeah, it's kind of kind of suspicious. Kind of like <laughs> Superman. You never see him with Clark Kent. But you know, um, can we put on screen the QAnon shaman? Does sure. Does everyone know who that guy is? QAnon. The Q. This guy's going to jail for sure. By the way. <laughs> Wait, we we said we're not going to talk about politics, but okay, I'll just show this image. The QAnon shaman is this guy who's apparently Antifa <laughs> deep undercover, according to right-wing media. This guy. <laughs> that is so true. It seems like the vast majority of people who did storm the Capitol were Q-affiliated. Dude, I gotta give shout-out to people who make tattoos where their nips With are... Nipple. Have a cutout for the nip, you know what I mean? Like, that's real shit. We love you. You're very special. <laughs> we love you, QAnon Shaman. Yeah, I heard that one guy who was who uh, I just heard this morning. I'm not gonna get political. This is just this is just kind of fun and interesting stuff. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's office photo. <laughs> this guy who took the the infamous photo in her chair. Hello, internet. Is anybody home? Hello. Yeah, this guy he got arrested. He's, you know what's crazy? Like these like seriously, if you don't think white privilege exists, it's going into the Capitol without f ma yeah. covering your face, taking photos, schmoozing, going back to the hotel, having cigars, and then he doesn't even realize he's really going to get in trouble. This guy's got arrested. He's going to jail for 20 years. Oops. You're very special. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. You're very you're a great patriot. That being said, the FBI will is looking for you. And uh, you're going to probably okay. jail for 20 years. You know, and the guy stealing the podium. It's like, bro, like, the guy really thinks he could just walk into the Capitol and walk out with the podium? And people were posting about themselves, right? Like Live streaming. It was all over. It's, it's kind of funny. Like, with social media, you kind of want to post anything you do. So. But they don't realize that... It's like they don't understand a world where the police are actually going to come arrest them for doing something like that. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and I think in their minds, too, like, this was it. They were taking over the government. Like, Yeah, th what a half-baked idea. They literally walked in the Capitol. They're like, all right, well, all right, cool, we're done. Like... Also, the QAnon people are all obsessed with, like, the secret cabal of pedophiles in the government. Yeah. Couldn't you, like, search around for the files or found the evidence? Like, well, instead of just, like, I, taking actually, selfies and stuff, maybe? Apparently, um, they did steal Nancy Pelosi's laptop, which is pretty crazy. Really? Sick. Yeah. Oh, my God. Victory, victory. It's really crazy. <laughs> victory, 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 victory. Anyway, we didn't, I, told victory, you, I promise victory, I won't victory, talk about this victory, stuff, victory. so we're out. Out. Yeah. You know, I have a funny story I didn't tell you guys about. Uh, on Monday, we shot the Frenemies episode, The Steamies, and I was wearing a tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a really funny anecdote because we had, A.B. went to get this tux for me, and we had to take my measurements. <laughs> and I took, like, my shoulder measurements and my waist measurements and all that. And the tailor said to A.B., he goes, he starts giving A.B. a hard time. He's like, these measurements don't make any sense. <laughs> He says, sir, I have never in all my time as a tailor encountered a man with these measurements. You're <laughs> yanking my chain. Because we measured Ethan, like, up here and then at the hips, and it was the same measurement. I said, I'm a, two I'm a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> my chest, my bust size, and it's waist, like, it's but I don't know if that's... <laughs> well, A.B., what did he tell you? You just tell me that there's no way these measurements make sense. We did it, like, three <laughs> times... I was he like, said, yeah, dude, my body's an anomaly. Do it? He's like, most of the time when wives do it, they do it wrong. And I was like, well, his, his wife owns a clothing brand. I think she knows what she's doing. He goes, Something, he goes, something's not right here. And then he's like, come in and talk to me. And then I, then I went in and then, uh, yeah, he kept asking me questions. He asked me, he said, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. He goes, but does he have a butt? A big ass? I do have a big ass. What did you he tell goes, him? This, what, I... I I said you're juicy. You said that. <laughs> it's true. Well, you're fat. You're no, fat, it, AB. No, but he was saying that it doesn't it doesn't make sense. He goes because you're <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That but guy he was like, he, he started to get frustrated with me. Well, you know, it's funny cuz well, I started to wonder, did we make a mistake? But when I got the clothes, they fit me. So I don't think so. But you got to appreciate that my body is so grotesque and f anomalous that the tailor was like in all of my years in the schmalta business what does that i said that right dan right what's schmalta business it's the, schmalta. it's the it's the clothing business schmalta i don't know what they call that it's old people shit right dan, zach you know schmalta <laughs> schmalta schmalta oh yeah schmalta. I, I like schmalta uh, i thought you were saying like schmaltz which is like you know what is it zach Shmata. What's Shmata, Ila? An old rag. Oh, I just read it on Google, business. apparently. And all my time in the Shmata oh, it's business. it's used to downplay someone's outfit. Like, oh. this Shmata, I just put it on. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's according to Google. <laughs> no Shmata. That's what you meant to say? No, but people say that the Shmata... Anyway, whatever. <laughs> people don't care. But the I point won't... is that this tailor was so perplexed by my proportions... But when I did show him a video of you, when I show him a video of you, he's like, "Yeah, he's not as big at all as what the measurements are describing." So I get, we, I think we, there was something off when we did it the first no. time. But Before. when we ah. got it, it fit you good, didn't it? Fit me it? fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm not <laughs> proud of the fact that I have a fucked up game. I have like a fucked up gamer body where I'm like fat and skinny at the same time. You know that I've always been like that my whole life. It's called is gamer body break? gamer body syndrome. <laughs> fat and skinny at the You're same time. You're fat, fat, fatty. <laughs> I'm working hard though to lose weight, even though I look really fat today, because I just shaved. Mm -hmm. I've got a big round egg fucking face. I think it's just you're not used to seeing yourself shaved. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Needed to get done. Anyway, that's the tuck story. Dan, I don't know much about the pog champ. Uh, emoji being erased. Wait, can we talk about um, mm -hmm. the background? Oh, sure. What do you want to say about it? Just, uh, hey, new background. Everyone's commenting about it. Oh, really? So, yeah. AB, I mean, AB did it. He's our he's our designer. He's our <laughs> set designer. Oh, that's hot. Can we talk about AB's setting right now? Yeah, why are you in the Bahamas, bro? Are you super spreading with the D'Amelio family? 
This is, uh, no, this is 2021, AB. Usually, I was a nervous wreck during these Friday episodes, but... You were? Why? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm chilling, though, this year. I'm good. Do you have background sound off? <laughs> background sound? Yeah, you, right. know, you, you don't have any... You're not going to be opening browsers? You nope, have your computer yeah. muted? Okay, nope, good. we're all good. So can You're we, taking it easy, huh? Can we I'll take it too easy. Can we expect uh, no random commercials be played during the show <laughs> that was the joke i tried to make that apparently didn't make yeah. sense yeah oh you kidding eh <laughs> but anyway ab did this and um you know because we had the christmas decorating up it looks good i like it i'm impressed yeah you know just some art like i mean what do you guys think you know they love it we love it i love it okay so i don't know if, apparently it's a big story the pog champ emoji on twitch I always see this emoji. I didn't know what the fuck it was. But the who is the pog champ? What is a pog? <laughs> so it's actually in reference to pog. You remember pogs from the 90s or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this guy <laughs> played pogs in a video at one point. <laughs> a lot of people say it stands for a play of game as well. But uh, I, looked no, into it, yeah, I looked into it a little bit. And I, I think the pog origin really is pogs. There's a video of him playing pogs. He just had an epic pog slam. That's funny. Uh, yeah, and um, <laughs> and so it just became an extremely popular emote on Twitch. Uh, but yeah, this dude, um, I guess, is pretty MAGA now, and so they decided to pull the plug on. <laughs> really? On the pog so wait, champ. if people were using the pog champ emoji, does that mean they had to subscribe to his Twitch? No, it was one. Of, it was actually one of the universal Twitch emotes. Okay. That's like Twitch pretty adopted wild. it. It's like you could use, you know, as any. Any uh, stream you can So they it. just dropped so this his guy? his face is just banned. Well, wait, what like, did he it's do? It's not even him, it's just his face being it's used. It's that tweet yeah. that's on screen that, <laughs> that they pulled it. Oh, this is the Pog Champ? That's the same guy, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, I feel like I saw that. Tweet. Let's see. Will there be civil unrest for the women who were executed inside the Capitol today? Or will the MAGA martyr... Oh, no, not the MAGA martyr. Yeah. This video will be aired soon. I love it! On band.com video and the resistance.video, and it sounds pretty gruesome. I feel like there's no relation between the actual guy and the pogger. Yeah, I agree. Face. It seems pretty overkill. Also, pull. how does this guy... I don't think anybody even knows who he is <clears throat> at this point. Or like yeah. The vast majority of people that use it had no idea who he was. So Interesting know. that Twitch was just like, fuck this guy. He's not the pog champ anymore. <laughs> <laughs> how do you go from being... Damn, dude. The MAGA cult can get anyone. You go from, yeah. play, from playing pog... <laughs> To storming the capital. Yeah. Shit. Extremist, extremism can hit anywhere. You're Man, very I saw, special. I saw the video of that, the so-called MAGA martyr, and that girl was, well, whatever. I don't want to talk about it, but she, eh, whatever. 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 None of my business. You know? Well, recipes pog champ. I was saying we should make our own pog champ emoji for our lives. You know, do it right now. It's just something about his lips curling yeah. so much. I don't know how to do that. Face I'll camera a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Open your mouth wider, though. Where's he looking? Is he? He's looking like over he's here. He's like off to the side, mm. away from the camera. Yeah. Mm. That's that's pretty. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, good. There we go. <laughs> Somebody clip that and send it in. I'll add it. Make that happen, y'all. Um, recipes Pog Champ, you know? Oh, the we have the original Pog Champ video. Let's he just take. His mem them. People oh. saying he didn't uh, play Pogs. What are you talking about, Dan? I, I mean, look it up. But I, I just looked it up last night because I was curious. Well, here's the origin. Thing. I mean, let's find out right now. There's no point in debating the it. Links are all in the right, this is the origin of the face. The links are all in the description. Six million views just for the Bog Champ fan. He's Gutex. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. No, I was gonna, I was gonna clap. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just because he bumped the that's camera. It. Yeah, that's it. Ah. Wow. Not my. Not very. Uh, and that's eventful. how memes are born. Jesus. <laughs> the whole Poggers phenomenon ah. is from this. It's just that. Wait, so, so what's the deal with poggers then? Does anybody know? Because Dan... Because that guy, 
I'm telling you, that guy plays... Here, I'll send you the link to him playing Pogs. It's no on. one believes Dan. Was yeah, nobody <laughs> believes you, Dan. <laughs> Just go. It's on Know Your Meme. Uh, if you go to Pog Champ, here, here's the video. Well, I get it. Know Your Meme is quite reputable. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, those fuckers <laughs> don't ever miss. What is this one that everyone's doing? Here, I just sent you the video. Looks like we have one of our own. Oh, with the cowboy hat? Yeah. So, wait. That actually is pretty close, the cowboy <laughs> hat one. This one, Dan? <laughs> Yeah, this is a video. Him playing Pog? Yeah. Gee, okay. I'm bored. What Thank year is this like. from? 2011. 2011. Okay, that makes sense. <sighs> I, I haven't know, played Pog in like 30 fucking years. I got it. Why don't we play with my ancient Pogs collection? Are these guys like that gamers awesome. or something? Neato, Gutex. Man, Pogs. how did you become part Let's of the MAGA cult, dog? Yeah. You're just playing Pogs with your homie? So Mike. And next thing you know, you're going you to prison you know for stealing play. Nancy Pelosi's laptop. <laughs> I'm the best good text. This <laughs> is crazy, right isn't now. it? We'll see about that. Yeah! Okay, so he played Pog once in a video for a gaffe. Does that make him the Pog champ? I, I mean, I don't know. Does what any, kind of self, research self is that? Declared. Does anybody else have an alternate explanation for what Pog champ is? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's on Know Your Meme, I trust it. I really do. Oh shit, Ela's going. I trust Dan. Okay. Meanwhile, Ela's doing some deep research in the meantime. <laughs> it's just Google. I wanted to send some love to um, Mr. Beast for doing a rewind, including yours truly. What's up, YouTube? I you know? I think we can all agree that 2020 might be the only thing in existence worse then 2018 Rewind. Yeah. I love 2018 Rewind. It's I, I iconic. I have Why to, people yeah. Why say that they hate it's it? Rewind I, I got to defend. <laughs> I have to defend 2018 Rewind. And I, I, it's just such a shame that, like, it was so bad and it became so iconic that now they're not making it anymore and they're depriving us of these incredible memes. Yeah. Pandemic, thousands of creators just couldn't make videos. It was brutal, and I can't blame YouTube for not wanting to make a rewind. But a lot of good things still did happen this year. And let's be honest, it just wouldn't be YouTube if we didn't have a rewind to make fun of. So, enjoy. Ah, uh, wait. You have the sound. You have the Will Smith uh, sound bites ready, Zach. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, here we go. About the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the. That's me. I saw myself. Oh. <laughs> wait, let me go back. <laughs> Fortnite. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Jesus, I'm turn you down. Ah! Everyone spread out. Let me mute it. Go ahead, Zach, with the sound bites. You know why we're here. Come on. Fortnite. Come on. Fortnite. It's rewind time. It's rewind. It's rewind time. Ah! Fortnite. Ah. Fortnite. Fortnite. Ah! ah. Ah, uh, uh, Fortnite. Ah, uh, Fortnite. Ah, K-pop. Ah, Fortnite. K-pop. Fortnite. Ah, Fortnite. Fortnite. Rewind time. It's rewind time. It's rewind time. Are we stuck? K-pop. Ah, uh, I'm watching the new rewind. I'm trying to give it a good sound. <laughs> Who wants to listen to music? Ah. Uh, uh, Ah, uh, uh, Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite. It's rewind time. It's rewind time. FK-pop. Ah. Uh, you don't want me, man. <laughs> hey, whoa, that's not from rewind. You don't want me, man. Our enemy. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, dude. Snap. Yeah, uh, he's gonna be in jail soon because <laughs> I heard that he's the one that stole Nancy Pelosi's podium. Really. James wow. Charles stole Nancy's podium. Wait, so now you heard it? I thought you were just asking questions. I heard it from a voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it wasn't me, though. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, Minecraft. Yeah, this is challenging. Hello. Fortnite, anyway. We could go on and on. You guys want more of this? No. Ah. Uh, no. Fortnite. Oh, and... Ah! <gasps> Fortnite. It's me and you! Oh my god. Do you know That's us! That people have headphones on their heads? Well, isn't it like, don't we have, um... 
Yeah, we do. We, do. we have compression. You're, You're still bad. screaming. <laughs> but we got a it's not compression. magic, the compression. Yes, it is. It's somewhat magical. But... Okay. Yeah, it is magic. <laughs> Fortnite. Whoa. Fortnite, look at these super spreaders. We wow. love our super spreaders. <laughs> we love our super spreaders. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fortnite. Fortnite. Hey, oh, it. no! So we were in YouTube Rewind. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Epic. We made it. Oh, they showed a clip of me picking my nose or something. What? In the for oh, yeah. Here, watch this. <laughs> You see that? Like, why would you... That was your nose. <clears throat> Here, it's coming up. Why of all the shots and all the video... If you're just going to show me for, like, one millisecond... There. I missed it. Okay, let me slow it down, like, a billion times. You know what I mean? Why grab the one where I'm, p like, picking my nose, man? <laughs> this might take a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not really picking your nose. You're it's just like, did they like, even think, like, why this one? Bruh. You use the comma, you can go frame by frame back. You can <clears throat> right on the frame. Oh, good. Bruh. Bruh. And the button to the right of it to go forward. What do we think? Inappropriate? <laughs> it's rewind time. Uh, I mean, it's a two-hour podcast. You could put any frame. That's my point, Dan. Fingers in your nose. That's so my point. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think Fortnite. I guess it means that Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, personally hates you. Fortnite. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a nice shot of a. It's rewind time. Yeah, of course. They're obviously looking at Ela, not me. When they, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, oh, she looks good. That's a good shot. <laughs> <clears throat> Duh. I have a pretty fun segment here. It kind of breaks one of our rules, but I think it ten, it treads more into the territory of fun than than like serious. Like we have a a whole mega compilation of COVID super spreaders of influencers. It's not serious. It's just fun because they're idiots, right? Mm. So it does break our cardinal I mean, one of our cardinal rules. We did say no COVID on after dark, although we continually break all the rules. <laughs> hey, what are rules meant if not to be broken, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. It's goofy. <laughs> Forget Has it. Has anyone huh? actually died from Corona? Come on. Do we have any <laughs> messages or calls before I get into this? What was that from Trisha? <laughs> Has anyone actually died from Corona? <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody yet. I've got, uh, I've got the Pogger emote put in. Oh, already? Yep. Let me see that shit. Spamming it. How do you do it? Uh, H3 Pog Champ. Are you fuck? How'd you? What the heck? You got that in already? Oh, this? Well, somebody, uh, Ian sent it uh, to me. Oh, that's and, pretty uh, good, actually. Uh, that was fast. Wait, doesn't his face the other way or no? I flipped it. I sent it to Dan with flipped. Did you see it? You put it in the wrong way, Dan. I, I just, you only sent me one. <laughs> no, check your DMs. It's check your DMs. How can it be Pogger if it's facing the wrong way? <laughs> All right. Flip it. Flip horizontal. Why'd you, why'd you send it in a different place? <laughs> How about that? The I sent it to your DMs. Hey, Dan, Daniel. that's that bad. You sent the first one to a different place, and then, what did and the, then the corrected say? one somewhere else. I, it's already in the Discord. I made it. I put it in. I sent it to you. You had one job. Right. Ian, why did you send I hope right. Dan is going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you send him one looking up, too, while you're at it, Ian? Yeah, why not? And down why and diagonal. Just, why don't we have one for all the What's cardinal the directions, yeah, like, Ian? Man, he's just supposed to click the right one, I guess. I mean... <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> okay, I just uh, I replaced it with. Okay, we got the new corrected Poggers champ, H3 Poggers yeah, I'm champ. I'm waiting to see it. Let's Get see, excited, let's see everybody. when it flips. Everybody's gonna flip it once. Oh, they're all left. Dan, good luck. They're all left. Come let's on, flip it. Come on, Come let's on flip now, it, baby. Poggers champ. Let's go in the chat. Let's flip it, Poggers baby. Champs to the right. There, there it, is. it is. That looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna hate it. That's pretty good. That's okay. That's not bad. What? Why are you hating? Okay. Hey, Dan, that's not bad, huh? <laughs> so, I mean, these are pretty good. These are all, like, really fun to celebrate. So, and James Charles, of course, is in this who we are asking serious, we have serious questions of if he was inside the Capitol building. Oh, no! <laughs> James Charles, I'm saying there was a lot of people who have not been identified. And I... 
and it's possible if he can't, if he doesn't have a good alibi that he was in there. Pog champs in the chat. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, COVID. Welcome to our new segment, COVID super spreaders. First up, little pump. Little pump. How did little little pump became kind of became kind of a MAGA? Because he's doing what Kanye did. Oh, is that what it is? He just wants to be like Kanye, but he he actually went in way deeper than Kanye, I think. I suppose that's true. Kanye ran against Trump, didn't he? So he wasn't that mad. Not very poggers of him. Yeah. <laughs> or is it poggers? Because now that means being a ma like a MAGA martyr. Right. Anyway, rapper Lil Pump. Oh, he changed his name to Lil Pimp because that's what Donald called him. He, he misintroduced him right. as Lil Pimp. So now he is actually going by Lil Pimp. <laughs> He says he's not wearing a mask in 2021 ever, and that COVID is fake. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. All 2020-21, I ain't wearing no mask. I don't got to wear no fucking mask, bitch. Corona's fake. Bye. Oh, my God. All 2020- Interesting take. <laughs> he also got kicked off of oh, a yeah, JetBlue Oh, yeah, so then flight. following him, is there a video of him getting kicked off, or is it, like, I'd like to see that story. So following his so, pledge- I guess. Uh, is this? Fuck JetBlue! Fuck everybody that works in there, nigga! Y'all bitches some bombs! All 2020-21, I ain't wearing no mask! Is there more info about him getting kicked off JetBlue? So yeah, he pledged not to wear a mask, and then Jet, and then, you know, later on, he tries to fly on an airplane without a mask, and they're like, nah, dude, you cannot fly without a mask. So, turns out... Coronavirus! <laughs> she's such a prophet, Cardi B. Yeah. It's true. She was right. She was screaming coronavirus before anyone gave a shit about it. <laughs> Said shit was getting real. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm not I don't want to be, I'll just be straight up. I am scared that we are not moving fast enough on the vaccination and this motherfucker is gonna mutate before we all get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. And take it from me, I was I've always been right about COVID. But this is after dark. I know, I'm just saying it was this in my is mind. Not very oh. light hearted. Yeah. Just saying, you should be scared, you should be frightened, you should definitely be <laughs> anxious right now and worried about COVID. Okay, next. It's a good thing that... Okay, next. Jake Paul continues to be the biggest fucking idiot in the world. <laughs> <sighs> we don't care. Like, Winner of our covid idiot, uh prize. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Or, am I right about that? Yeah, no, he won, for sure. And, and well-deserved. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He is in Ohio. Oh, I gotta mute that. He's in Ohio. There's not a single mask in sight. Ohio oh God. lit. Ohio stay lit, boys. <laughs> nah, you're so this is new? Tripping. Yeah. Mm. This is just from the 20... It's like a week old. Wow. You know. 4,000 deaths yesterday. Over 4,000 deaths yesterday. Stay lit -y. Stay lit -y. Not really. I don't know how many people need to die a day before people start caring about it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. 4,000 a day. Let's fucking We're go. We're too deep in the denial. I don't know. I feel like people are not going to change their mind now. You think so? Maybe. Because they're going to look so stupid. So, also, apparently he's moving to Miami so he can just not... Apparently in Florida, they don't give a shit about COVID. Because their governor there is an absolute fucking psychopath. Uh, Jake, here. Trailer put on one of the biggest events of the year. It was historic, and I just can't wait for what's to come. Stay tuned and uh, look at who oh, relocated, baby. Trailer put on one of the what? Yeah, Jake does have Florida energy. Someone pointed out he's definitely a Florida man. He 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 belongs in Florida, not in LA. Yeah, yeah. GP coming at you. And his dad, too. I mean, his dad will fit in, right? Perfectly there. His dad has more like Alabama. What's energy. the age of consent in Florida? Can you tell me? Because I'm just looking out for speak GP. Up and be wrong than be muffled <laughs> and be wrong. Because if GP can hit up 16. Uh, it's actually 18. I'm gonna ah. Yeah, again, Alabama is probably friendlier territory. So, is that Alabama borders Florida? Uh... Alabama 16. Just looked it up. Okay, so. good. So we can take a trip to Alabama if yeah. we want. To. I cannot believe you could fuck a 16-year-old <laughs> legally in the United States. GP coming uh, at you. 
16 <coughs> and 16 is the lowest so that that is that's as low as it goes so gp you know that's great i, I don't know of a state near california that close where you can have sex with a 16 year old so gp and maybe even jake paul will be having a good time there i'm curious what states actually uh in usa nevada don't say it say. lowest age of consent in usa is there a, is there one state that's Okay, let's see. Now I'm just interested. Highest and yeah, lowest. Yeah, Nevada is 16, according to Google. <laughs> yeah, the lowest <laughs> age of consent in the United States is 16. By the way, I'm totally fine with the age of consent being 16 if there's like a caveat where... The age gap? It's like two or three year difference or something, you know? Yeah. But like for GP to come and fuck a 16-year-old is not okay. <laughs> They actually have a law. It's called like the it's called like the Romeo and Juliet law, where it's like if you're within three years, it's not statutory rape. Right. Yeah. But guys, uh, this is for uh, Greg Paul, Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, Connecticut, District of Columbia. Interesting. Huh. Georgia, Hawaii, Indi. God damn, there's a lot of states. I can't even read all of these. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Vin Diesel, ben. not appropriate. Ben. Oh, you ready to get really creeped out? The age of consent in Nigeria, guess it. Uh, this is the lowest in the world. That's Someone just typed it, 11? It's 11. Oh, I was my guess God. 12. It's 11. 11. It's rough. It's 12 in Philippines and Angola. Canada is 16, someone wrote. Wait, in Japan, the age of consent is 13, you guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow, man. I remember hearing about that. Whoa. Whoa, that's weird. Hey, coming off of this really dark conversation, uh, <laughs> we're at 30 minutes. Uh, mm. I don't know if you want to give a buffer before. Uh, you know before what? We're uh, not talking about age of consent. You know what kids <laughs> love? <laughs> no, you don't want to do it? I'm nah. right there. We need, we need to change nah. the subject first before we segue into the ad, please. Mm. <laughs> I'm right there. It's on the edge of my tongue. <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's watch. Here, let's, let's look at James cleanse, Charles. Cleanse, cleanse the palate, thank you. <laughs> and then we can do the ad read. And then you guys will get my joke. Okay, so James Charles, I hate this video so much. Away from hot content, yeah. alone, you go, girl. away from each other, follow all CDC guidelines, oh, stare no. at the camera and smile, and still make an unfathomable amount of money. But instead, they do shit like this and can't just sit their asses at home, as if LA isn't the epicenter for coronavirus right now. I can't really focus. Can I have the actual video? Like, damn. Why does everybody have to do that Everyone with the headphone yeah, microphone? Like, it's a TikTok. It sounds like shit. Stop doing that. <laughs> That is so true. That is so true. <laughs> Wait, let me find his actual TikTok so I don't have to listen. So here, he did like, makes me so angry. He's such a fucking douchebag. <laughs> yeah, okay, right, cool. So here he is. This is like the whole family. The mom is right here. You know, in LA, they're literally turning away people with heart attacks and strokes because the hospitals have zero percent availability what is this crap somebody died somebody <laughs> died what the fuck oh, you know, it has like 30 million views why and 14 is, million it, likes it's supposed to be a parody of mean girls okay gotcha. yeah i mean i mean if well, that helps cares? explain it whatsoever i don't give a shit if it's a reference Sister to the smashed. fucking moby dick <laughs> you know what i mean Who gives a shit um <laughs> You know, there's someone dying every eight minutes in L.A. And then meanwhile, you got D James Charles who thinks that the world doesn't apply to him. Yeah, really sad. No, you're not. You're lying. It keeps denying everything. But he, dude, he hasn't left his house in <sighs> months like, or something. I don't know. Hey, right. You're posting videos that say otherwise. Nice house, by the way. You know, this guy doesn't give a shit. Whoever this is, I think it's Larry. He's like on his phone. He's like, I don't give a shit, bro. Oh, you're Look, right. He's, just <laughs> he's literally just standing there. What the fuck? It's like, can you try a little harder, bro? Through. Wait. He's, he's, he's dancing, dancing, but then he's and over then it. He, gave up. <clears throat> he got like, on Wait, I got phone. a text. <laughs> Does that make sister sense? This is why I think, like, the D'Amelio sisters, despite everything, are still really young. And then you've got their, their parents, I feel like, are the biggest clout goblins in the world because <laughs> they're willing to be absolute shitbags. 
they apparently have like a reality show coming out on Hulu. Like they're trying to be the new Kardashians. Mm. Could not give any less fucks about her family. I mean, they already are so low. What's the uh, their their family has a lot of money, right? <clears throat> like, what what do their parents do? Like, what I mean, think I think they're rich from their celebrity. Or, or their father is a politician. Okay. I mean, no, uh, former. He's not. He used to be like a MAGA politician. Really? Yeah, really? He's MAGA. Huh. They got a lot of shit for that. Huh? Former politician. Wow, sister so, snapped. Former politician usually means lobbyist, is what I'm guessing. I don't think he was like a high ranking politician or anything. I'm reading that he worked in sportswear and the mom was a model and personal trainer. Yeah, okay. I think they just got super rich from their from the newfound success. Gotcha. Yeah. And so they're riding this train all the way to, to Super Spreaderville. <laughs> Let's get glam. Let's get glam. Oh, this one has 70 million views, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one they made the same day. Sister. Dude, it's like, do you have no shame, man? Just, like, don't post videos like this. Man, it's just so, it's just so embarrassing, bro. Just have some shame, you know? Fuck, it's just awful. It's just awful. If Stop! you want to see something really awful, Eli, just watch this. What's the back? Stop! Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that one has 30 million. Uh, so, this this shit is crazy, bro. This guy is out of his mind. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. <laughs> that is so true. What is happening? <laughs> Dude, can we just watch James Charles' TikTok? No, we should do the no. ad. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Uh, would you tap that, Zach? <laughs> Oh, what? No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're just wondering where your boundary is. <laughs> All right, me undies. Let me get the copy. We love me undies, don't we, Mhm. Mm I love me undies. It's the only undies in the game that <clears throat> I I like James Charles have a voluptuous ass. <laughs> and frankly, if you've heard anything from this tailor, my proportions are so ungodly, so unnatural. I, everything fits me tight, especially underwear. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to s soft, beautiful underwear, there's nothing like me undies in the game. Breathes. It's soft. <clears throat> it's fun. Forget about it. You know, and let's face it, when was the last time you refreshed your underwear drawer? I, have I back in college, used to carry around my underwear for years until there was literal, just, it was eviscerated. Was, do you know that? You've I done that? I've, well, I've seen yours like yeah. that. I feel like even myself, I don't know why underwear is like something you don't think about. Never throw out. Yeah. Mine, dude, mine were getting so old that waistband was getting like crusty. <laughs> it's weird. Like it was just disintegrating. It was just the, and so, you know, that's when I knew I had made it in life when I could buy my own underwear, kind right. of. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. <clears throat> and that's what MeUndies is. You can make it in life. You gotta step up your comfy game, 2021. Uh, now this dark guy at 4 p.m., all you wanna do is become one with the couch. MeUndies gets that, and that's why they want to help you step up your cozy game. Their loungewear and undies are super soft and come in everything from classic to adventurous prints. They're literally made for your couch. And guess what? You don't ever have to leave that couch again with MeUndies membership, a subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. With site-wide savings and exclusive sales, you'll automatically pay less for everything. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you are not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions asked, and definitely no sniffing of your used undies at the uh, fulfillment center. So to get 50% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com. Slash H3. Hmm. Thank you to them. AB, do you want to read any donations? They all kind of yeah. cleared to me. No. So I yeah, I have in. some. Um, so, Carly for $10 is feeling old. Turned 26 today. 
What has been the favorite age so far? I haven't missed a podcast in two years. Sending love from New York. Wow. wow. Say what? Our favorite episode? Your favorite age. Oh, my favorite age? Sorry, I was like... I zoned out. I wasn't here. <laughs> I was looking at the document. Peace Fav and love. My favorite Peace age? and love. No, she, you want to read it again? Not the yes. what? She okay. said favorite age. Right? She just turned uh, 26. And okay. It's, her, it's been her favorite age. And it's a good she's age. She's been watching us for two years. Thank you. It's a good age. Congratulations. <laughs> I love you. My, what was my favorite age? Hmm. I kind of do think 26 is like the best. 27. I honestly don't have a favorite age. I'm not too mad at being my current age. It's a nice age. I don't like, thank I don't you, look back thank and be you. like, oh, I wish I was that age again. Yeah. You have a favorite age? Anybody else? Is that something people think about? Um, <clears throat> I feel like that's something I'll think about when I'm like 70. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like after you get past 25, it's just kind of a blur. That's true. Mm -hmm. it, it, I can't really differentiate after that point. I mean, my my young age, my young twenties was kind of horrible because I had untreated anxiety disorder. So mm -hmm. I don't think back and think, "Oh, that was the great times." I was actually miserable. So <laughs> hard for me to say. But thank you. I had but a lot of fun at that age. I would probably say like twenty one, twenty two. Mm. Yeah, twenty one was great. Like that was like last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? How old are you, Zach? 20, 21 was 20, great. 23. I'm 23. Oh, my God. <clears throat> um, okay, so Isabella for $5 said, I was coming down from shrooms on New Year's Eve, and your podcast was the only thing that didn't make my brain explode. <laughs> God bless. Thank wow. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Well, Maddie nice for $10 said, I feel like said, this show would, would stress me the fuck out. On oh yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I wouldn't watch it. That, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I guess she just feels comfortable with us, so I mean, that's, that's nice. nice. That's yeah, nice. there's a chaotic energy to this that I don't think I would vibe well with. Dude, even looking at the backgrounds, I think it might trip someone out. Well, now, yeah, <laughs> yeah now. now we just we literally lost all of our trippers, all yeah. five people tripping balls watching the show currently. <laughs> Turn the channel. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what uh, Maddie for $10 said, as a Floridian, everyone is acting like nothing is happening, but people keep saying things like, once all this is over, <laughs> love, it, love it here. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. That's interesting. Yep. Uh, um, someone asked, how's the PS5 going? PS5 is amazing. I have, to, I have to thank Trisha for getting that. Mm hmm. Cool. There's a conspiracy theory within our crew that she bought it on StockX. I hope that's not true, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I, I believe her. I wouldn't, I'm not going to call her. I believe I don't think so, because I feel like it would have taken <clears throat> it longer to arrive. You think so? I believe her. I believe her because that's what she told me. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's the policy. It's been great. I played um, Demon Souls, beat it, crushed it, owned it. Easy. <clears throat> it was actually easy. Really, it was. <clears throat> kind of just a baller like that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I went back and I'm playing now Dark Souls 1, which is fine, but it's really annoying. It's just, I'm just irritated it's playing annoying. it. So, I don't know. The Dark, the Dark games, the Demon, or Dark Souls, Souls games, they're so annoying. They go, Demon Souls, Dark Souls. It's like, make up your fucking mind, first of all. <clears throat> and every game is literally just the same fucking game like oh my god make a new game like how do people keep playing every <clears throat> i get their fun games and i really think that demon souls was a really beautiful fun game <clears throat> but dark souls starts the same exact way you're in a castle and there's dragons and you gotta do the bit it's like oh guys make come on use your brain start something else <laughs> it's like every game is literally a carbon copy of the next oh my god <laughs> you know what i mean I can't even watch you play. Those games don't interest me at all. No. You're not an elite. You're Daddy, not a chill. Chat. <laughs> but I have been playing, too. I'm playing Katamari on Switch. Oh, shit. That's probably the that's more... That's what's up. That's, yeah, that's the real shit. I wish I was playing Katamari. <laughs> My girlfriend was just playing but Katamari But I'm stuck in the week. catacombs. Yeah. Which is, I'm, pl I'm stuck in the catacombs with some fucking dumbass skeletons. It's just so annoying. <laughs> Stupid. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Taiga went to Miami to throw a party. 
packed. Oh, my God. Shoulder to shoulder. Not a single mask uh. in sight. What's so hard to understand? I mean, shouldn't this be criminal? Like, I mean. Thank you, Chad. Just, dude, look at this idiot. He's like, yeah, what's up? Ain't no pandemic here. Ain't no panty dammy here. <laughs> By the way, they're not even looking like they're having fun. Look at these people. They're just standing there like, bruh, look how un not fun they're having. Did this is what it's actually like to go to a club. People, I was going to say, that's just normal club environment. <laughs> people think it's so fun to go to a club, right? And it's all, we're going to have a crazy night. It's going to be so much fun. This is what it's actually like. Look at them. <laughs> did you call it a panty Danny? Yeah, I did, Zach. <laughs> like a panty Manny? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, these people are not even having fun. They're going there and getting, spreading COVID and not even having fun doing it. These people, these are, these people, what the so fuck at, is least, this? at least they're keeping this. <laughs> Who's keeping, oh, these people? They're like, we'll do it and only if we can be elevated by at least 12 feet. <laughs> Yo, can somebody tell me what the fuck is this? Like, bruh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Clubs are weird. Yeah. You just stand Bruh. in a room with a bunch of people while some other weirdos twirl from the ceiling. <laughs> what is this, fucking Cirque du Soleil or a goddamn club? What the hell? Bruh. You just don't get it. I don't get clubs. They have people in, like, cages, like, <laughs> dancing and shit. It's like, okay. Cool, dude. Okay, boomer. <laughs> My Zach, boomer. Would you enjoy the club? What's that? Would yeah, you enjoy would. this? Uh, no, I've never been a fan of clubs. Rock clubs, yeah, oh. but not like... What am um, I supposed to do with these people twirling on the ceiling? What am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to walk? Nothing. Am I supposed to ignore? It's like... Do I glance and then forget? It's like a decoration. There's people twirling on the fucking ceiling. It's part of the vibe. What it's am I supposed vibe, to do with this? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, or you boomer. do like this, huh, and then you just ignore them. Like, isn't it weird to be twirling on the ceiling and nobody's even paying attention to you? You're like, I'm twirling on the okay, ceiling. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Maybe I'm a boomer. I don't know. Tiger's having a lot of fun here, you can tell. These guys pay, spend like a million dollars on these parties just so they can have sex. It's like, bro, really? Okay, boomer. You can find a cheaper date. You know? Especially after from Trisha, what girls do to get you pregnant. That was a crazy revelation. Oh, my God. She said that she lies. She used to lie about being on birth control. And that a she, lot of girls do that. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I don't know anyone who would do that. I've always that. What? My mom, always, my parents always told me that growing up. Well, parents. The girls do that. Same. Parents I'm, sure there, I'm sure there are people that do it. But, like, if I would assume that. The well, people consider, did, when, when did Trisha that. says a lot of girls do that, she's talking about in her yeah, yeah, world yeah, yeah. of LA, you know, gotcha. social climbing. And I don't know <laughs> anyone that would do that. That's crazy. No glove, no love. I mean, that makes Your sense. Your future sister-in-law. <laughs> Look at Drake's baby mama. She's she's set for life. <laughs> hmm. No glove, no love. What does that mean? No glove, no no condom. No, no right. condom. Yeah. No glove, no love, girl. No love. <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy, man. I gotta, I gotta have like a really long talk with Theodore about all this <laughs> when he's older. Well, people in the chat are saying they know girls who do that. So, how is that real? I mean, that's just so crazy. I don't know. I'm so shocked that there actually is like um. I'm shocked. They lie about being on birth control. Why do you want? I mean. What kind of life is that? I've also I've also heard of like because a lot of girls get irritable from uh, different kinds of condoms, so they they lie about it because of that as well. No, Which, nobody lies because the ir condom irritates them, bro. Well, they don't think they're gonna get pregnant. I think there's a lot of false information too about how easy it is to get pregnant. So I think they think it's not a big deal. <laughs> like no one's no one's ever scared of pre cum. Like whenever you said it on the episode, I'm like you're like the first. Other person I've ever heard talk about it besides myself. It's not even, and like I said, it's not even that. It's like you got to pull out in time. Like, you right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The pull out and pray method doesn't work. It does you know, not uh, work. Pulling yeah. out is for fucking that, idiots. 
that I have heard of so many people who do like that's their method, and that's I'm all that's surprised. How, and that's how you see meet people with like eight kids by like five different women. They're like, yeah. I pull out. <laughs> yeah, yep. that surprised me. I pull out, dude. That's all good. The My pe- last roommate. People that go have sex with their 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 contraceptive plan is to pull out. Have they have kids? They end up on Mari. You know what I mean? No glove, no love. There you go, Zach. Okay. Take it from Zach, boys. No glove, no love. Right, Ian? I mean, <clears throat> there's a couple of people Thank saying you. that it sounds like a fake narrative that's kind of misogynistic. And that, that was my I, opinion. I, hey, I'm with it. you, dude. I don't that's believe... That's what it sounds like to me, too. Bro, I'm with you. I don't think women do that. Or at least I don't think women do that. I think that. if... But maybe... I mean, the women that I'm attracted... I think, like, the women that I was generally with aren't type of woman to do that yeah like i said i I don't know a single person personally that would do something like that it's crazy right yeah i think it's a very small majority but it's just such a big thing to risk you know such a yeah i'm not taking any chances but yeah no i definitely i don't think it's yeah i think it's a very small i guess if you're rich though and you're out there you got to be careful luckily i never had to deal with that problem <laughs> I only ever had sex when I was broke, and people were desperate not to have a baby with me when I was having sex. You know what I mean? Girls squirt spermicide up there after I have sex with them. <clears throat> they put a lot of people uh, in the chat saying that, that they do know people who yeah. do that. So this uh, is a thing. Crazy. How could you do that? Yeah, and I, I feel like <laughs> people are fucked up. How could you do that? Like it's such a big deal to have a baby. I honestly, if I had a female friend who I know Trisha told me that, and she's with Moses now and stuff, but I was kind of, if I had a female friend who was actively doing that, I would not be friends with them. That is just beyond insane and fucked up. <laughs> mm. Papa John, be careful out there, bro. He's out there dating. But now, Papa John, I'd not in Papa John. Hopefully, he's protecting himself. <laughs> that's I want... marrying up, though. <laughs> he's what? Yeah, because that's marrying up. He's got that. He's got that billionaire money. Yeah, I'd say I'd nut in him right. easily. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even pull so out. You get it. Yeah, I get it. Papa but how many Papa Johns are out there? You know what I mean? Like, who wants to like who wants to fucking have like someone like? Yeah. No offense, but like Zach. Uh, no offense, Zach, but like, you're not <laughs> like that fake. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Dude? I'm just saying, like a guy, like there's not many Papa John billionaires out there who is like they have golden nut. Are you saying my nut's not golden? Not yet. <laughs> You have, well, you have fair, copper am, nut. You're bronze. To be, I'm yeah, the you're, golden boy. You have I'm bronze. the golden boy. Yeah, yeah, you're the golden boy, but you have bronze nut. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> you gotta I don't have be that like, Papa Guac. Yeah, yeah. You got to be like a multi multi millionaire to have that Papa Jizz. That's Papa John butter sauce. You know what I mean? Um, important question When is the next Bachelor? Or Bachelorette. What am I, fucking Chris Hansen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the H3 the Bachelor. H3 Bachelor. I don't know. We have to find a good candidate. Yeah. I think you mean Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison. <laughs> Not, That's Not Chris Hansen. Yeah. Ethan always confuses them. That is I, what I, I just got I'll used just to be it your secret now. lover. D'Angelo Wallace just put out a video criticizing frenemies. Who's that? Who's Name D'Angelo sounds familiar. Wallace? Throw it, on. throw it on. We got uh, beef. Been, I know him. It's going to be a long video. We got beef, boys. Uh, Let's I, fucking I've throw been, it up. Throw it I've up. I've been watching it in the other window. It's only 10 minutes oh, okay. long. Oh, okay. oh, by the way, there is photographic evidence of, of James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look at the beanie. <laughs> Being in the... Uh, <laughs> of this course, is this a- is Cam Grant. Of yeah, course. Figured. Oh, Somebody send this to the FBI, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're looking for tips. Sister snatched. Oh, sister. So good. Oh, sister snapped. Who is this guy that's talking shit? I don't know. Um, I recognize the name. But oh, this is the guy that made like the 20-year, the t- two backfired? No way. Oh, this is the guy who made the video about uh, Shallon. Shane Dawson, right? Why do all these people made a Shane with that? Headphones? What is this? Just like the right, uniform so let me for see. drama YouTuber? Now? Oh wait, no. Wait, what is this? 
Is this not the guy who made the documentary about Shane? Uh, he made a he made a Shane video. It has 16 million views. Yeah. Whoa. He made like the cancel Shane. Oh my god. Wow. Starting a podcast with Trisha Paytas backfired. How did it backfire? Okay. Here we go. We ready to do this? Ian, can you just tell us what's the? <coughs> yeah. We going to war? Uh, that seems like we're going to war. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, maybe just just give me timestamps so I don't have to watch this whole fucking thing live. But I have no sound, Dan. Uh, let me, look, I just want to hear it. What are we about I to do? I like the right cat now? ears. I'm going to talk about really? your headphones. Whoa, his voice. <laughs> I, well, you are a is gamer that, girl. Is that unmodified? Uh, today I'm going to talk about Trisha Paytas. Holy is that Tay Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate rain. Motherfucker has baritone. People Prince like him in the chat. And, yeah, I've, um, always, I've always liked Angelo. Like People like I'm him? Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to war. He's apparently made a video talking shit about friendly. So what are we supposed to do? I mean, <laughs> you guys like him. Him. And, and he, So what am I supposed to do? I mean, I don't know what he said yet. <laughs> <coughs> I, I disagree uh, that it no, backfired, though. Conflict of interest here. Oh, maybe he's just, he should, let, let me just read the comments. Trisha's saying Jewish people are so different. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing Trisha talk, oh, maybe he's just, he's just pulling the, uh, yeah. All right. Thank well, you. Ian, Ian, Ian just tell us what it's about. So, I mean, what's the deal? Oh, you're saying to watch it? Well, I'm only halfway. Back to I'm 2020. Not Let's see. Let's give it a shot. I'm not ready for bad news. I, he really I, I don't think he's going. He can't. What is he going to say? I can't get <clears> enough <throat> of his voice. About this podcast because I've actually watched this podcast. I actually love this podcast. Everyone is saying he's great and they love him. Oh, but what can I do? What can I, I do? I, I'm just. I've got the foot soldiers. I'm wearing a pickle here. We're in a bind. Stop! We love him, but Stop! yet. Okay, let me watch it before I before I decide that it's war. You know, you know Stop! who went after him was Shallon Lester. What did he mean? him with the lawsuit? What? What? He made a video exposing Shallon Lester. He was like the first one to do it, and then she threatened him with a lawsuit. Who's Shannon Lester? No. Shallon Lester. Um, no, no. Voices of the past. Okay. Uh, Some of you may have already guessed. I'll tell you off. A lot of off air. With it. So I'm going to talk about it all: the good, the bad, and the ugly. But of course, before that, I'd like to read my comment shout out from my last video. Okay, but let's skip the comment shout out for her <laughs> insensitive His voice. Is amazing. Everyone from the trans community to people with DI. I think he's just talking about her, all the crazy shit she said. And then the other person in this equation is Ethan Klein, one of the YouTubers behind the hugely popular channel H3H3 Productions, which he ran with his wife, Hila. And their conflict is that, for some reason, they decided to start a weekly podcast, despite their completely clashing personalities and their rocky history. And to top it all off, Trisha is dating my it's worse than that. Brother. She's so engaged. Yeah, it's a mess. But before I unpack <laughs> that, let's unpack today's sponsor. Today's video. Is let's not unpack. <laughs> Motherfucker, they gotta pay oh me God. to watch your video. <laughs> Audible. <laughs> let's unpack. When friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. Oh, Carnegie. please. Everybody Love recommends that book. <laughs> what, How to book? win friends and oh, I well, it's a great book. Yeah, but I it's what everybody book. says. Get a fuck, read a book. It's a great book. Okay, I like him. I'm not going to war. It's a not great going book. To war. And I like the headphones. People I mean, want us so to watch far, it. So far, we're in a good. We like him. We like we like him. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to war yet. One of the only reasons this podcast works, and I've been go over. I mean, it works. He said it works. Okay, good. See, we're friends. Okay. It's not funny. Thirty day trial today. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. So first, I really do want to go over what I think is good about this podcast. Thank you. Because um, surprise of all surprises, it's not 100% terrible. One of the only oh, reasons please. this podcast works. Clearly, people like it. Please. No, I love you. We're friends. We all love you. Let's just, just watch what people say. Okay, I'm not going to do this. And I've been able to get through it is because Trisha Paytas is actually I did, her I mean. real self on this podcast. She's not this extremely fake, dramatic. Well, she is. That's literally her real self. And she yes, basically it admits it. I think it's safe to say I'm the most dramatic. I try to start beef with everybody. Yeah. She goes into detail about how a lot of her previous videos have been for attention as well. And it's like, I'm not congratulating her for doing the bare minimum, but I do find it a refreshing change of pace. Another strong point is that Trisha is extremely funny on this podcast. I agree. Right? Because of I how agree. mean she is. It's funny. She's, I'm not doing this to be cute. No one that. thinks you look cute. <laughs> She's also really dumb on purpose. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? 
What if it was never invented? <laughs> Which I also find funny. I still I don't, don't know, know if she was serious on the other hand, there's some things I didn't expect from Trisha Paytas here. She's actually very open about a lot of her real struggles. I see, he said he went to therapy this year, so hopefully that helped, because it helped me. Like, if you're always on the defense, like I was always on Trisha the defense Trisha is such so a long, lightning like, rod. It's crazy how she really is prolific, you know? Yeah. That, I'm still learning who Trisha is. I don't even know what's the right way to describe her, but... She's such an entertainer, too. She is. On top of everything. Like he said, she's really funny. Also, yes, Ethan, I'm yes, going to throw you another uh, Somebody in the chat says um, he he sided with you and was defending you during the uh, James Charles hoodie debacle. Oh, I love him. He's my oh, favorite creator. Wow. Here, I'm going to throw a like on it. I knew I liked him. I knew I liked him. I knew I loved D'Angelo Wallace. Right, oh, guys? Oh, no! Yeah. Right, guys? I mean, Dan was the one immediately. Dan was like, we're going to war. <laughs> we're so, we're gonna, Dan was like, we're going to storm I the Capitol. Not, no, hold on. I'm muting your mic. So. <laughs> Dan, Dan was like, we're going to storm the Capitol. All I said is all these They're drama stealing it. have hey, Dan, the that's same bad, headphones. Huh? I was just making an observation. Bro, I love I, D'Angelo Wallace. I said he's the man. I love D'Angelo Wallace. He's my Dan, favorite creator. All the producers have the same Sony headphones. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <clears throat> By the way, if you guys want to go to D'Angelo Wallace, did you see on WikiFeet? Let's go give him five star. Let's give him the foot soldier bump. Give him a bump. <laughs> D oh, man, I'm going to lose my second. I'm going to lose my number two spot. D'Angelo Wallace, right. WikiFeet. Well, Avery, you did kind of snake well, you better, in there. I mean, really. I didn't snake. <laughs> Wait, who is this? Zach is just mad because he got put on the same day and he's like, Angela Wallace. I know, I just don't care. Yeah, no, here I'm number two. I, I don't even care. What? That's not him. I want to smell feet. <laughs> Does he not have a wiki feet? <laughs> oh, brother. I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to give you the wiki feet bump. <laughs> well, we love him. We I love you, D'Angelo. Like, it's, mm. it's just more because you're, like, broken and you don't get hurt. Besides being open about her experience with therapy and the various mental issues that she goes through, she talks a lot about experiences that she's had that she's never opened up before. Yeah, I, I, I had know. an overdose on February 5th of 2019. Oh That's when I went to the mental hospital. I was trying on to kill myself. Xanax? Mm. I know a lot about Trisha Paytas and, um... <laughs> to quote a tweet, all of it is against my will. But I have to say, I never knew that she was going through quite this much. Now, she's not the only person. This podcast is co-hosted, and I have a lot to say about Ethan Klein oh as well. First of all, Ethan is actually even funnier than Trisha. You like how you oh! makes your head look good? He's the best guy. Well, you know we love Dan. You know I've always been a huge fan of D'Angelo Wallace. I've said it from the beginning. For long. Yeah, because it makes me look skinny. I'm trying to it find makes it look like um, pictures of his feet. Picture, yeah, I think he, I think he actually avoids it. Like, oh, smart man. Yeah. Well, let me just offer the olive branch, D'Angelo. If you're watching this, get some, take some pictures of your feet. <laughs> it will always, everything ends up on what you feed, and we'll give you the bump. <laughs> you know, that's a standing offer. You had like a birth defect or something. <laughs> I don't I don't know why people being mean to each other is funny, but I still laughed. <laughs> Obviously what's more important than that though is that he's surprisingly cognizant of Trisha's mental problems that she goes through on the show. You know, sometimes when she starts getting really bad, which oh she does, we're gonna get to that in a second. I notice that he doesn't push her. A lot of times he tries Thank to you. stop her. I am doing the f most I'm you seem, fasting, so I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just slow down. You seem really ca caustic today. And he doesn't just abandon Trisha Paytas like I think most people do when they come to the conclusion that it's kind of difficult to handle her. But yeah, I mean, you know Thank me. Thank you. We love this man. Thank you, Hila. I love frenemies. What can I say? I agree. I think it's just this phenomenal. It's like, it's like you take, you take. Uh, <gasps> They're saying D'Angelo for Bachelor. How do I know that he's that he's single? <laughs> you want D'Angelo? D'Angelo, if you're watching this, you want to be the bachelor, contact me. Here, let me follow him on 100%. Twitter. 100% success rate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, 100% true love success rate. Hold on, someone is saying he's married. He's married? This is all, I, they're all super up, random uh, comments. <laughs> There's not much. <clears throat> right, you don't want me, man. <laughs> I can't spend an entire video saying good <clears throat> things about something. That would be insane. So next I'm going to talk about the bad parts of the Frenemies podcast. First of all, Trisha Paytas crosses the line so far. Trisha mm -hmm. Paytas pole vaults over the line <laughs> at least once per episode. One thing that she loves to do for some reason is attack Ethan's 
wife. Trisha goes oh. on and on about how Ela secretly hates her. Trisha is oh. constantly putting words in her mouth. You say, Ela doesn't that. like me. Ela doesn't ever say hi I to me. Like, hey. I think at first her dislike for Ethan's wife was kind of funny, or at least they tried to play it off as a joke. But it got just weirdly real when during an argument, Trisha storms out and calls her the C word. <laughs> Okay. I literally don't care. Literally, I don't want to come back because I really hate her. If that's not bad enough, she also routinely brings up off-limits things to make Ethan feel like dirt, basically. Randomly bringing up the fact that he had a pill addiction that he had to overcome. She also just repeatedly claims that Ethan wants to cheat on his wife with her. She goes as oh, far yeah. as to insult their parents. <laughs> I, I, still, I totally just brushed past that yeah. because I'm like... I don't take it seriously because I so don't. I'm just, I can't, I don't know how to convince Trisha that I don't want to have sex with her, but I really don't. She's just not my type. Sorry. My type is, is uh, beautiful, Israeli, uh, oh my God. women named Hila. <laughs> Klein. Good answer. No middle name. <laughs> when you have a kid, you should try and be with that as much as possible, not. Be with, with it. strangers. Yeah, nothing says bad parenting to me like making sure <coughs> that your child is being watched while you make money Preach! to provide Preach! a nice life Preach! for them. Preach! Bad, I bad, love this bad. guy. Anything that she does on this podcast, which I personally just find so hard to watch. <laughs> I'm not going to say anti Semitic. I love Jews. We always but, talk about this. I yeah, love Jews. Anyway, I, 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 listen, I think I get it. You guys want me to keep Dude! watching? I don't think we should. I think we get it. I think we all. I mean, we didn't get to the part where he had we're anything negative simping. to say about you. I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're in so deep. Is he going to like fetishizing that? Mm, true, yeah. Trisha goes on and on about how I'm gonna follow she loves Jewish people, friend. which is super weird. Because, I can't get an again, answer on if she's she's married or not. Defense. I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm going to follow him. Because I, I guess people seem conflicted on the issue. How do they not know if he's married or not? Because maybe he made a joke. Angela Wallace. I'm not sure. Oh, he's following zero people. What an interesting fellow. Follow. Oh. Why is it so quiet? I can't hear anything. The was. You just found out about the whole. They do want you to idea. keep watching. What? Okay. It's like borderline unwatchable when she does that. I physically cringe and I want to turn it off. Well, what if it's really? so bad? But remember, Ethan is also a host of the podcast and he has similar problems. I have to be <gasps> honest, Stephen <laughs> Klein does not do any research for this podcast at all. Like, anytime Trisha says, Oh, I have beef with this person, Ethan almost immediately sides with her for some reason, which mm -hmm. results in like entire episodes dedicated to beef that Trisha made up. He also says really crazy. <laughs> things on his podcast that are very easy to fact check. With Shane, it's not like he necessarily did anything. Yeah. It's all like bad jokes from a long okay, time so, but, ago. Okay. Okay. This guy I made mean, a whole 20 part, or no, a, he made a whole the, documentary the about Shane, Shane. Dawson is a very complicated topic. Let's hear what he has sure. to say. I'm going to hear him out. Right. Whereas now that we're best like, friends, I owe him at I least think that. He, I, I do think from your perspective, you meant like compared to um, Chris D'Elia. Yeah, this Yes, he didn't actually like with Chris Delia, do there were, commit a crime on. Well, well, I guess that's right. debatable. Yeah, right. I guess it's debatable. Right. Okay, let's hear. Like actively doing slimy things. So I've kind of talked about. I the think good. maybe he felt personally attacked because I was like, "Well, Shane didn't do anything wrong," and he has like this his this huge video about you know Shane needs to be canceled. I haven't actually watched his video to be totally honest because. Let me pull it back. And D'Angelo, we are best friends, so don't take this as a slight. We are Hit really... anything? Yeah. It's all like But how long is this video? A long time ago. Right. Whereas Chris is like... Acting. It's an hour 13, so... Maybe I should watch it. You guys want to watch it on stream? No. <laughs> the D'Angelo episode. No, I do not. Doing so I've kind of talked about the good parts of the podcast. I've kind of talked about the bad parts of the podcast, but um, now I'd like to talk about the ugly parts. So first Ooh. of all, Treasure Pages has had more the than good, the bad, the ugly. mental breakdown huh. on this podcast. They very much played the first one up for <coughs>, laughs because, I mean, they were wearing Halloween costumes. It was kind of hard. That to was not a joke, by the way, just to be honest with you. That wasn't played up. That was yeah. One, uh, every meltdown and fight we've had, it has been 100% genuine we didn't go into an episode being like oh we're gonna fight the fact that it happened is me as uncle fester just kind of made it funnier 
or made it something funny that wasn't, I guess. Not I don't to know. laugh at. But I'm going to be honest. The second time that she stormed off of the set, it was not at all funny. No, I it agree. It was very clear to me that she was mentally unwell in that moment. Yeah. But she later confirmed herself. I again, agree. Because I'm really trying to balance this video out since this is Ethan's podcast as well. I think he plays a huge part in this. Yes, like I said, I truly believe that he does his best to manage Trisha Paytas and her outbursts. But it's like once they happen, he's really happy to profit off of them basically making podcast highlights out of her breakdowns the show in some way is kind of dependent on ooh is trisha gonna have a breakdown this week and i think Unfollow. that's just really not a great sh well we have we have lot that's only happened twice in our episodes that don't have her breaking down do great i mean like the we have plenty of episodes of her not breaking down the last one was all good vibes yeah but, um... That being said, the highlights, I mean, yeah, I guess. I think I think the highlights benefit us both in that it helps promote the show, and it's like, it's already in the episode. I mean, it's a fair criticism, though, I guess. Well, not everyone has time to watch the full episode, you know? But, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like, I guess it's a fair criticism on one hand, it looks like that. But on the other hand, it's a notable episode it's a notable moment that everybody's talking about people are definitely going to clip it and put it online regardless and so it's better for us to do it than other people to do it yeah that is one thing we've learned is that if we don't do it someone else is going to do it right and so i don't know this whole charade of like It, it's part of the show. It's like, it, there's, it, I can't like decide, like we're running this business, right? And we have this whole highlight uh, system. And it's like all of a sudden if something sensitive happens, I'm just supposed to ignore it like it didn't happen. I don't know. For me, it's just, it's, part, it's all part of the show. And it just, it, if we put out the episode, we put out the highlights. You know what I mean? But I get it. I understand the criticism for sure. I, I, I'm frankly torn when that happens too. I go, I do have this internal debate of like, do I, should I highlight this? Should I just, should I not? And, and it is something I think about, but ultimately I just decide like, look, it's on the, it's in the podcast. It's part of the highlight, you know? So that's, I guess my, my thinking show to run and i don't think that's a very ethical choice to make patricia herself has confirmed that she struggles with bpd and obviously that excuses absolutely none of her behavior but i don't know what what his point is is that we, we shouldn't be doing a podcast together because that's all it is it's like she has bpd he says it's not ethical and we shouldn't be doing it. i don't know what's the solution just don't do a podcast together you know what i mean i mean that's a fickle argument because then what could we say about the video he's making right now I mean, ah, it, it, I mean, the, the 180 on you, buddy. I mean, in front of me, oh, is going off that's why people are making videos about it. That's why every T channel lives for frenemies. Right. That's true. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, what's the solution? Is that everybody, nobody's allowed to collab with Trisha or do anything with her because she has borderline, borderline personality disorder? You know what I mean? It's like, we both really enjoy doing the podcast. Mm hmm. At the end of the day, you're a friend to her. You, you said, you've told her, you know, I'll always be here for you. And you've, you've always tried to be understanding, you know, so. I love AB. But I agree with you. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I do try. Okay, I, really, I don't know if he's, we should finish. We should let him finish his thought because that isn't necessarily the. Okay, let me, I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. These are still choices that she's made. But I believe it becomes really obvious that she has BPD in situations like this. And I don't want to tune in for the BPD breakdown show. I truly f find that horrendous. A lot of people say about the show like, oh, Trisha is such a bad person. By the way, I try my best to avoid the BPD breakdowns and it's happened twice and I've tried my best to, I don't know what to do when that happens, okay? And so like, I agree, I don't want, the, I don't want that show either, dude. I much prefer when we have like episodes like last week when it was just the the steamies or this week the steamies you know that was fun it was wholesome everybody enjoyed it and um that's the show that i want because we all just want a fun sustainable experience i don't want my life racked with drama 
I mean, whenever it happens, it's really stressful on all of us. It's not like we just... Um, it's not like a game to us. It's no. like we all don't know what's happening. We don't know if it's the last episode, if she's going to... And I feel like maybe by now that it happened twice, we're kind of learning to understand her better and like <clears throat> recognize it when it's happening and yeah. understand that it's going to pass and she's going to be like over it. But especially the first time, we were all so shocked. We really didn't know what it meant, what was going to happen next. Like, Yeah, you know. and the, well, the second time was even worse. Mm-hmm. And Ethan is such a good person for putting up with her and I love him again I mean, yeah, Trisha kind of is a bad person But I don't think any of that has to do with her breakdowns or the BPD at all I agree and I really don't think Ethan Klein is a saint. Oh, I hate him again Putting up with oh, it. I, okay. I understand because if you <laughs> haven't noticed he's also putting up with a ton of views I haven't even made a video about Trisha Paytas by herself yet and probably won't in the future Specifically because of how many mental issues she deals with and if anything this podcast has really just shown me like there's a lot there that I'm not even qualified to handle and I truly don't believe Ethan Klein is handling it in the best way possible for her. What do you want? We're just, I'm making a podcast with my friend. I'm not a fucking, this isn't clinical therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to fix her. I'm just making a podcast with my friend, dude. Her either. It gets views, but at what cost, basically? It's what not, it's not at any cost. It's just a podcast with two friends, bro. We can all okay. collectively decide to stop it at whenever we feel like it's gone too far. But so far, mm. all parties feel that it's okay. I mean, I feel like his argument is that breaks down to if anybody does anything consistent and see, consistently with Trisha, you're exploiting her, or in some sense, because she has met a uh, uh, borderline personality. You know, I've seen Trisha for years on YouTube, and I mean, like, this show is the first time, like, where you, you actually treat her like a, a human. Like, it's it's so messed up. Like, just go look at that David Portnoy podcast look how they fucking talk to her like she's not even a human pork boy like anyway boy yeah. from this anyway it is maybe i'm maybe i'm overreacting i is. love i love d'angelo if you're going to collaborate with trisha paytas um, just do it on her only fans besides you'll make do it on what on more her money anyway well, uh, her what you want to see what at 2 statement. p.m central time yeah wait what back it up hold on what kind of even qualified to handle and I truly don't believe either client of course i'm not qualified to handle it i'm just a fucking guy making a podcast with my friend it in Love the best you, way possible for her either it gets views but at what cost basically what i've learned from this is if you're going to collaborate with trisha paytas um just do it on her only fans besides you'll make more money anyway well i'll be here all week folks at 2 p.m central time if it's monday wednesday it's okay weird comment <laughs> yeah all right i guess really i'm doing only fans i am doing only fans i am going is that okay with you Yellow? Mm -mm. no Look, I understand oh the concerns. God. I am con I am sensitive about it, but at the same time, it's like we're just friends doing a podcast. Ultimately, you know. Well, he says at what cost? I mean, I mean, it's fine. It's a it's a legitimate um, conversation to have. We even had that conversation with ourselves, and we. I were... love D'Angelo. <laughs> we were wondering if we should continue it or not, but. We all, on um, not on the show, we all talked and we felt we came to a good place. Mm -hmm. You know, Ethan, me, my brother, and Trisha. So we all feel we're in a good place. And if things don't continue in a good place, then we don't have to continue the show. Yeah, of course. But for now, everyone is enjoying it. So I actually, I think it's good for Trisha because I feel like she does have a, these, a lot of people assume that Trisha is like just totally faking everything for attention. And I think that it's really shown Trisha to be an actual real human being who's not just like, it really exposed her human side that people didn't really see. And so I think she's happy that people have this new understanding of her. I certainly do. And so I think it is actually, I know it doesn't look like it at times, but I do think it's good for 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 everybody you know it's been great i love d'angelo wallace send me your wiki feed bro <laughs> only fans comment was bizarre i think he was I, kidding just a joke. he was just I, kidding. it's a joke but it's yeah. it's just it was kind of a weird note to punctuate the video with but whatever i think he was Not just kidding deal. yeah 
I do love his voice, though. My God. Chocolate yes. rain. What's the lyrics to Chocolate Rain? Let me pull it up. It's about uh, police brutality, isn't it? I love just the image of Chocolate Rain. Like, oh my God, it's raining chocolate. Chocolate rain, some stay dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain, a baby born will die before the sin. Chocolate rain, ah. the school books say you can't be here again. Does everyone Chocolate know? rain, yeah, everybody knows chocolate rain. Dude, this video has, this was one of the first viral videos. I know, but I wonder if at this point it's like an old meme that not everyone knows. <laughs> Does that, Over a decade old, right? Do, a, do yeah. a straw poll. Let's see if people know what chocolate rain is. Okay. Can you guys do it? Because we can. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get claimed. Dude, it has 128 million views. Wow. Yeah, this video is is. When he breathes, it's away from the microphone. Like, it's yeah. Classic. Are we gonna get claimed? Do you think he's gonna claim our ass for chocolate rain? Possibly. Yeah. Let me just mute it. I'll sing it over him. I met him by the way at a friend's house. His voice. That that is his voice. Mm -hmm. Chocolate rain, and then he. So when he breathes, he turns away from the mic. That's kind of the epic. Here. Not a dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. <laughs> a baby born will die be Chocolate uh, rain. I move away from the say. mic to breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> I can never tell if people like this song or if it's just a meme. It's, it's a bop. Dude. It's epic. It's kind of both. It's kind of both. I think yeah. that's the mystique right. of it. Sure. Here's the uh, results. Put it in Discord. Okay. I feel like everybody knows Chocolate Rain, but let's find out. I can read some donations if you guys want. 80%. Well, 20% no, don't know Chocolate Rain. Damn. If yeah. you're a younger viewer, I could definitely see. Yeah. I mean, this was a long time ago. <laughs> so this was, well, here, let me give you an internet history moment. Was this it was 2007, one of the, it I says? Mean, yeah, this is back when videos were square on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And back when... Like YouTube, there would just be a viral video, and YouTube would just show it to everybody. Right. And it was shared everywhere too. <laughs> this guy said, "No one knows Chocolate Rain, particularly when sung by Ethan." <laughs> oh, really? What? Okay, here, like, here. Let me put, let me give it to you from the man himself. We can do a sing along. You guys want to do a sing? Is a karaoke version? Oh, there's gotta be. There's gotta be. <laughs> there's for sure gotta be. Here, you guys want to sing? Karaoke along? with the Kleins. Let's go. Oh yeah. Here, genius. Guys, if you guys want karaoke with the Klein, shout it out oh, in the chat. God. Let them know. Sorry. Let them know. Karaoke with the Klein. Why are you even suggesting that? Because <laughs> I know you hate the idea. Hate Here, let's karaoke. do a sing along. <laughs> Beautiful idea. Okay, get ready to sing along. We got it. Yeah. Be here again, chocolate <laughs> rain. The prisons make you wonder where it went. Chocolate rain. Oh, that's hot. Tent and say the world is chocolate rain. Zoom the camera out and see the light. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Four cats will be falling yesterday. Chocolate rain. Rewind time. Only in the past is what they say. Chocolate rain. Raise your neighborhood insurance with chocolate rain. Makes us happy living in a gate. Chocolate rain. Made me cross the street the other day. Chocolate rain. Made you turn the head the other way. Chocolate rain. History quickly crashing to your base. Chocolate rain. Using you to fall back down again. Chocolate rain. I gotta pee. That's chocolate rain. Uh, Is everyone singing that? Zach, I like your. Uh, I, I was like taking the little, highs. I know, your little <laughs> harmony that you were coming in with. That was nice. <laughs> That's pretty epic. <laughs> so pretty much he's famous for this. Man, he's got a great voice, though. So. Let's see what, what he's up to these days on his YouTube channel. Hey. Oh, this is from four weeks ago. Hmm. He's still around. Oh, this is the most recent one. Let's see what he's up to. Hey. He's Jack, bro. What the fuck? Chocolate Rain is Jack, didn't he? He looks deep fit. ass V too, isn't it? Yeah, he looks great. That is a deep V. Deep V. You think he's got? You think? What's his name? Tay Zonde. Tay Zonde. How old is he? Great question. Well, that video was from 2007, and he looked like a teenager then. So probably he's 38 years old. 
Does that shock you, Zach? Huh? Are you disgusted? You said it like you're disgusted. He just looks way younger. He's got a fresh looks look. Good. Looks pretty good for 38. This is the Christmas song I wrote. I thought I'd sing it for you. Uh-oh. I hope you like it. Oh, my God. One day. This is from four weeks ago. He looks jacked, doesn't he? Whoa. My last He's Jack. Merry uh -huh. Christmas. Whoa, why is it? Don't be afraid. Do you know what? I am a little afraid. <laughs> you know what's funny? He sounds like an Asian dude doing an English accent. What? Interesting. Like... Hear me out. <laughs> Listen closely. Like he sounds like a like a Japanese dude doing an American dub or something. I heard out in space there are many Christmas among the stars. When, when I am gone, gone I'm gonna take, take my, my ship. ship. To the planet of Boop, buddy, bip, bip, Which planet? Nobody <laughs> hungry, they all get unlimited bread sticks. Oh, Grab nice. My ship to dip, buddy, dare. The Christmas has affordable health care. All their puppets talk about how Jesus held power accountable. I'll have. That's a banger, bro. Is that an all original? Wow. Yeah, he yeah. wrote it. Yeah. Wow. It's a special Christmas song. It's a fucking original. Bop. This is a Christmas song I wrote. All right. Oh. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? <laughs> anyway. So now you guys know. This should be 100% now. <laughs> everybody change your vote, TS. <laughs> Chocolate rain. What else we got? Man, we're work we're working through any any uh, call. Let's do a call in or a donation or something. Let's fucking interact. <laughs> I have some donations. Go. Go for it. Um, Laws for f uh, five euros says, uh, hey, I also have borderline personality disorder, and I want to com uh, compliment Ethan on how he handles Trisha. Everyone, please read up on the disorder. Hmm. Uh, Crimson for five dollars says, I've, I've been also watching Trisha for years. I agree. This is the best content I've seen from her. We can tell you really care about her. Thank you. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I understand. I understand the guy's trying to make a, you know, trying to have a conversation and make a video and stuff. But looking a little bit further back in the donations, I see one person donate. A couple people donated a few bucks, asking how you become a member. Uh, there should be a join button. Huh? They don't. Under oh, the they video. don't. Oh. Uh, uh, there was an issue yeah. I, that may have not been resolved yet on iOS. If you're on yeah, an iPhone, the button doesn't right. show up. Mm. I think the way you can do it is if you go to YouTube, if you just go to a browser, youtube.com slash h3 podcast slash join. For some it reason, will, uh, Apple doesn't show up. it on their phone. Yeah, it's a weird glitch, and I don't there's know why There's some that... weird, like, I think there's some kind of contract dispute between YouTube and Apple, because if you add it through Apple, Apple wants a cut. Oh, that probably is why. That makes yeah. sense. Right, because they want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can circumvent that by going to youtube.com slash h3 podcast slash join. Thank uh, you, Dan. Such a good racket where you just get a cut of everything. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Weber donated $10, said, Zach, how do you feel about Belle Delphine's video? Oh, we were meant to talk about that. Uh, yeah, right? I know. So, okay, <laughs> this is huge. Wait, I'm going to go to the bathroom. This is huge news. So, Hila, you want to talk about Care Bears coming up? While I go to okay. the bathroom? Okay, great. Um, we got this ep epic collab with um, Care Bears that we've been working on for a long time. And it's going to come out January 21st. And I can't wait. Oh, um, that's hot. I don't have any photos to show here, but we're going to start posting about it soon. Um, there's going to be a few pieces for female-specific stuff for for the women. And there's going to be... Um, a cool variety of items. So the Teddy Fresh Bear, does it have like a Care Bear? You know how all the Care Bears are like, have like a, the Share Bear. So. And Cheer Bear. Oh, we. Fun Shine Bear. Oh, no, we bear. didn't. Um, no, I don't think that we could do that. Fair enough. Because it's, it's pretty complicated whenever you do collaborations like. Yeah. You what get, you're allowed to do. Yeah. And everything goes through a lot of revisions of getting it all approved by everyone 
But we did draw our teddy bear like in the Care Bear style, and it's got like a TF um, nice. stitched on his tummy. But it's not canon, is what you're saying. The, it, the it Teddy Fresh Bear like, is not canon to the Care Bear extended no. universe. Oh, yeah, okay. it's it's Care Bear's Legends. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Care Bear's Legends. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's uh, meta canon. Expanded universe, right? The expanded yeah. universe. Uh, it looks really cool. Is I've it, seen a lot of the pieces. Two dollar donation saying, "Ela, you look bomb, and that sweater is everything." Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Um, it's from my my vintage stuff. I love. I just yeah. good. I'm telling them about Care Bears. Nice. Um. Yeah, and I just 2021 is going to be really exciting with Teddy Fresh. There's a release every month, <clears throat> and there's going to be a lot of cool things. So many collabs, exciting stuff that I can't mm -hmm. talk about. But Care Bears is coming out on the 21st. The all the clothes is amazing. We did it, Care Bears. We did it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been working on this forever. Your yeah. boy uh, Ben Davies just now donated 100 pounds with the message, Yo, I'm drunk. <laughs> ben, he's hot. drunk, you guys. Give hot. it up for may, Ben. Let's go. <laughs> you very well may regret that decision when <laughs> yeah, you're sober, I Ben. But we are getting a dispute from you, Ben. Peace and love. Peace and love. Oh but until then, peace and love. <laughs> uh, what's a girl got to do to find love as the H3H3 Bachelorette? I mean... Oh, we've never had a bachelorette. Oh, wait. Yeah, we, we have a dead well. idiot. <laughs> what about someone like Whitney Cummings? She's single, right? That's uh, like she's, she's kind of perpetually single. But I don't know if we have enough eligible bachelors in our audience. With yeah. yeah, for Whitney. For I, although, Zach might want to take a pass. I was going to say, I know one person who's signing up. <laughs> Zach, you don't have a fucking chance in hell, bro. <laughs> you say that. You don't have a chance in hell, dude. <laughs> you say that. You think you could pull Whitney Cummings? Uh, I'm gonna go down in flames trying. <laughs> My boy. As long as we get to see the flames. <laughs> That's the attitude, man. That's it. They were they were they were flirting a little bit when she was on recently. So Dan, I'd, lo I'd love to take don't her. Don't do it, Dan. <laughs> she wants a guy who will eat her ass. I'm the man. Like a can of mayo. <laughs> Even better. Like, a, like eat, Zach will eat your ass girl like a bag of horsey sauce. Fucking A, man. Trisha, Straight shooter right here. Trisha messaged us. She did? Oh, yeah, she said the live is great. Oh, Thanks, she's, okay. Thanks okay. for being great. Oh, oh okay. Oh, she's so People nice. were wondering what she might think of. I was afraid. I don't I didn't want to. Yeah, she oh, yeah, said. She's watching. Oh, she loves that. If you want to collab with Trisha, do it on her OnlyFans. She loved that. Of course she did. It's not happening, Trisha. This is way better. Just a quick update from our friend Ben, who donated 100 euros. Yeah. He donated 100 more, and he said, nah. Ben. Stop it. Ben. Oh, my God. Stop it. Drunk, now we're going to do two chargebacks. Log off. Oh, my God. We're going to have to do two chargebacks, oh God, gonna off, do two chargebacks from Ben. You're making mistakes. <laughs> you're gnarly, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. You're Somebody killing me. Somebody donated $100 is kind of mean, but I just came here to say no, please, to Whitney Cummings. She's the worst. I don't give a fuck what Zach says. $100 what? is what? a trash on Whitney? Damn. Why do you hate Can you That's so my much. queen. <laughs> Damn, a hundred bucks just out of pure hate. That's that's real spite right there. Spite money. Yeah. Whoa. I have a good idea. Hmm. We should do Zach as a bachelor and then Trisha picks the contestants. She could get her revenge. Oh, that is good. <laughs> oh, Zach's single. Zach, would you I be our single. bachelor? I would love to be. That would oh my be God. fun because mm. Zach is like open. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You don't like the idea, Ela? She didn't. Well, um, the thing is, we, have, <laughs> we kind of have to wait till COVID's done because he he can't really safely meet people. That's true. It's not really the best time to be. What does Ian think about all this? Why? why what's your hesitation? Why are you hesitant? Oh, because, about Zach? Yeah, the Zatchler. The Zatchler! <laughs> oh. Zatchler. I think it's got to be Zach. That's betrayal, yeah. Okay. You okay, were looking yeah. to you're okay. looking to Ian for backup, and he well, just, I, I need Elon <laughs> just coined the name it. of the show instead. Yeah, you. But Zach, are you ready to settle down? Because you have to remember, the Bachelor is about finding love. It's not about finding someone's ass deep. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I that's actually, my hesitation. Well, I, here's the thing. I I actually am looking for love. Like, you ready to settle all, down? All jokes aside, like I am looking for. A you're just looking for a fucking place to stay outside your like, parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Like in all seriousness. Like I worry you know, that you're just looking for a date and then. No, you know. no. I, I, okay. I, I, I. At the end of the day, I really am a a, a relationship kind of guy. Do you and watch The Bachelor, the actual Bachelor? I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you yeah. know how heavy they all take yeah. it. It's like. I mean that that you know I just I I would love to find love to be honest. I think people forget too. Zach was in. Uh, a long-term relationship for right. for a right. while when until he, he first joined the show. Until he became <laughs> yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, you became through Hollywood. <laughs> no, but like bro. for the first year, right, Zach? The first year that you worked here, yeah. you were in a yeah. relationship with. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a relationship. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, he's just. Mm. I'm looking for. Lo I'm looking for a special person. Okay. Be all jokes aside, I am. okay. Let me let me throw this out there. If there's any eligible women out there. Start messaging us. Where? It's to the podcast. Wait, hold on, really? Why? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Should we set up an email? Oh, you guys approve of that? <laughs> like, You're going to get like a million emails. No, no, no. Let's just start sorting it and bookmarking it and just preparing. Mm -hmm. I think we should make a separate I think there one. There should we be already... a separate email for that. We'll make it. Okay. So scratch that <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> we should make a separate email because. That stuff well, gets just make messy. An email now, Dan. Yeah. It's like bachelor yeah. we'll make it Zach, Zachelor Nation Zachelor. at gmail dot com. I mean, are whatever. we really doing this? Are we launching? Well, let's just right yes. Now? Let's just start get. Let's get things moving. <laughs> I think it's gotta be bachelor with the age three. Zach Zachler. Zachler. You don't like Zachler? Oh, well, you probably could get mm. that one. This, I'm, I'm so, flattered. Oh, meanwhile, let's talk about Belle Delphine's because, okay, so Belle Delphine put out her hotly anticipated pornographic video on Christmas Day. Now, Zach, of course, was there. Now, were you waiting for the release of it? Like, how much were you anticipating this video? I mean, tremendous. You know, yeah. I'm going to bring it to cynical Zach, cynical Zach again. Tremendous. Um, <laughs> so were you sitting on our whole OnlyPants page re refreshing, or how, what was the process of waiting? Yeah, so I wasn't sure, like, when, what, what, what midnight or what, what time she was going to drop it because she's in the UK. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I was just refreshing, and then she kept posting, like, oh, a couple hours away, and I'm like, fuck, like, you know, <laughs> fuck me. So... So, well, if, when it finally came out, what time was it in the middle of the, or what time was it in the day? Uh, I think it was around 4 p.m. Okay. Our time. And were you, were you, at what point did the, uh, how do I put yes. this without getting demonetized? <laughs> the sec, the, the act of. Were you smashing your ham? No, I, I wasn't smacking the ham. And this was more of, I was going into this as a Roger Ebert. You didn't smack a, your ham to the video? No. <laughs> I was going like a Gene Ebert of porn. Like, like a Gene Shallot, you know? Like, Hold and on. actually Wait, wrote it. I don't saying. believe Zach is watching this shit for scientific value. <laughs> That's bullshit, Zach. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe I rubbed it out once or twice. I yeah, say. thank you. There's the truth. Yeah. Okay. And so Zach had mentioned to me that he thought it was a perfect 10. Now, I saw a lot of people on the internet complaining that it was um, disappointing. But that's not what you thought about it. Um, I actually wrote a little Roger Ebert style oh, you synopsis. Did? Oh, oh great. Okay. If I can read it. <laughs> um. <clears throat> well. She posted it for free on her OnlyFans. No extra Is charge. Is Zach all quiet? Yeah, Zach's really quiet. Can you hear me? One, two? Yeah. One, two? Talk a little okay. bit closer to your mic. She posted it for free on her OnlyFans. No extra charge. The whole thing is like she's having sex with her teddy bear. So it's some dude with a bear mask on having sex with her. She used tentacle dildos like a bad dragon type. Whole thing was like 13 minutes long. At the end, she holds up a PS5 and says, thank you, teddy, and gifts the bear the PS5. I would call this nothing short of a cinematic masterpiece. And mm -hmm. here's why. After the sex scene, the teddy bear wakes up from a dream uh, and fears, uh, excuse me, a Tears for Fears song starts playing Mad World. As if the dream was she was having sex with, he was having sex with Belle. Overall rating, Zach, two thumbs up. Wow. I think it should be like two tissues or something. <laughs> thumbs up. You know what I mean? We need a different. Depends on where you're sticking those two thumbs. Two bottles of lube. Where you're something. sticking those thumbs. 
Yeah. I feel of like what? two thumbs up doesn't sound good though because it sounds like it's two out of ten or two out of five. No, in America, the thumbs is synonymous. This is a. This is a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everybody knows two thumbs up. Yeah. It's this. Got it. We love it. <laughs> two thumbs up. Didn't they used to give like half thumbs? Like it's just so weird. I give you a half a thumb. Yeah. I think they were always pretty definitive on on that show. It was two it, one it was either, or zero. It was up or fucking uh, down. That's all you I, get. So there was this famous okay. show. They gave there was Got two it. movie reviewers. And they would tell you to like it up. or not. Yeah. I love so, that show. I went in as like a Roger Ebert of porn. So. Yeah, that was very uh, well written. Thank you. Thank you. Did, how many times did you watch it? Uh, well, the first time was, you know, for critical analysis. Uh, second time was in my bathroom. And third time <laughs> was on my bed. So Three times. Three times. What? <laughs> you know... I still haven't been able to find that video. It's pretty amazing how they, how they uh, have it locked down so much. I would expect to see it on Twitter or something, but those guys really know how to run a DMCA. Yeah. What's their whole business? I guess so, yeah. My, my, my other criticism of the tape and, um, was the, uh, the money shot, you know? It wasn't, um, wasn't very exciting. Why was the quantity really? low? What was the problem? Yeah, it was a weak load. And oh, like, what a uh, come on, all that and you gonna <laughs> shoot a weak load? I want and, my uh, money back. They could have framed it a little better. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so we have some criticism of the load, yeah. the load size. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. Incredible. Well, thank you. Thank you, Zach. By the way, somebody, another person Daddy? donated $100, another $100, and said, I, vote, I, I, I'm sorry, I veto Coffee Cake's hate on Whitney with this donation. Please give this to Zach so he can buy her dinner. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so we have a counter donation. Yeah, it was a counter $100 donation to, to cancel out the other $100 donation. <laughs> Holy shit. No to Whitney. So they want, you want me to give the 100 bucks to Zach? I mean, Fuck. He says, please give this, but to buy Whitney dinner. Okay, so, so if you land a date with Whitney, I'll give you a hundred bucks. <laughs> I would love to go out with Whitney. <laughs> like, like, just like to go to dinner. Like, Oh know. my God, the same guy, the drunk guy. Stop, dude. He said, last one, baby, happy new year. Ben. Stop it, Ben. ben. <laughs> I would not be able to handle all these bank with these, all these, yeah. uh, all these chargebacks. <laughs> all these chargebacks. They're going to okay. ruin me, Ben. The, the original person who donated, hating on Whitney, donated another $50. Yep. <laughs> said, okay, geez, if he wants Whitney, give the man Whitney. Okay. okay. All, all right. right. We, have, yeah. uh, we have consent. We have green light. People are going wild in the chat. Message Whitney right now. Be like, yo, we're live. Zach wants a date. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> you have 0% chance. You're 20. How old are you? You're like 23. <laughs> But I play the guitar like a mean motherfucker. And she yeah. said that she likes younger guys, right? Yeah. On the last episode. Oh my god. No. I, can't. I could serenade her. I could make her cry. Yeah, I don't think she's looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> but what do I, I, know? I, I, I I did see a lot of interest in the Zatchler. Yeah, I think Zatchler's the way up. If she's interested, Zach, she can apply through Zatchler. <laughs> I will write her a song. I will do anything for her. So actually, bef we've probably been going a while, right? How long have we been going? Uh, one hour and forty minutes. So before we um, sign off, can I we did get drunk Ben on a call? Someone asked. <laughs> ben, if you're if yeah. you're in the Discord, uh, <laughs> message me. Message uh, Zachary, and we'll we'll get you on. It's probably too drunk so to figure. Do it we out. have those OnlyFans uh, creators? The girl was doing like poop porn and stuff. Do we have her on the? Yeah, they're in the uh, waiting room. Yeah, let's get them on. So okay. you guys may remember we had a call with this couple who has like a fetish-oriented OnlyFans, and they do all kinds of wild stuff like pooping and peeing, and they're just like down for whatever. Right. And they're also like devout Christians or something, which was kind of a weird twist. Um, uh, wait. No, I think she said that she was raised in a very conservative household. Oh, I, thought, I, I, th I remember. I don't think she's still. Well, we're about to talk to her, so yeah. let's just ask. So anyway, she was on our show, and apparently she, a lot of our fans went and ordered and supported her <laughs> to the point where she actually, actually made a lot of money. And so my question to her is, like, what, what are our fans ordering? I want to know. What I'm going to bring her in. Yeah. Should, should I bring her in right now? What's your yeah. name again, Zach? 
Uh, it's Anthony and Rena. Rena, that's right. Rena. Rena. Yeah, bring them in. They are on the line. Rena. 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 Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, there we go. Rena. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Are you a devout Christian? No. Oh, okay. I thought you said you went to church every week or something. Or maybe you used to. Grew up like no, that? No, my family was very conservative. Growing up, we did yeah. go to church, but I currently don't. Can you turn up a little bit, Dan? Yeah. What is your, does your family know what you do for a living? My mom does, yeah. Is she cool with it? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> she awesome. She buys me lingerie. Oh. oh. Really cool. Mom's wow. rule. Yeah. Supportive mom's rule. That's good. So since your last appearance on the show, you had a lot of... Uh, support, I guess, on OnlyFans, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. These foot soldiers <laughs> mm -hmm. really were very lubricated and ready to watch my content, and I was very it's happy. Awesome. They're so nice. <laughs> Love to hear foot that is going on. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want, I want to ask you next. Oh, that's weird because I, we're all about the wiki feet. Wow. And yeah. These guys are actually, but okay, so uh, I want to know got real all of a sudden. All the fans came to you. <laughs> what kind of fetish videos did they buy from you? Break it down for me. Have you ever heard of fruit looping? No. Oh boy. I'm scared. Yes. <laughs> it's basically, it's basically <laughs> when you gape your asshole and oh. your partner eats cereal out of your asshole. What? Wait, that's a thing. Mm. Yeah. Why is it called fruit what? looping? Because your ass, your your prolapse looks like Fruit Loop. Typically, typically, typically Fruit Loops would be the yeah, cereal yeah, yeah. choice. Yeah. Oh. Me, baby. And and did somebody oh. ask you to do that? Yeah, three people asked me to do that. Three, three people? separate people asked you to do a Fruit Loop. Yeah, because I had a video right before where he was eating gummy bears out of my ass, oh. so they asked to Fruit Loop. And how much did they pay for a Fruit Loop? <laughs> It was 150. You got it, Charlie. You got. You really. Oh, you have to charge I like more. Doing right I Wait, like so doing it. Wait, so you're able to do it? So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How so do you how, do? Yeah, how do you do? What's your process of preparing for that? So I enema my asshole, mm -hmm. and then. I put a butt plug in for the whole day to, to loosen myself. 150 bucks? 150 bucks is an entire day activity. You got to up your prices, girl. But it girl. feels good in there, you know? So it's like, it's a win-win. Okay. Oh so God. then at first, I, I've never fruit looped before. So I had to look up how girls did this. Mm. So when we first did it, the milk kind of just went in my ass. And then it, it wasn't rising, you know? Like it wasn't acting like a bowl effect. So maybe you... So we put a... <laughs> we put a makeup sponge <laughs> in my ass, so there oh was like some type of bottom, <laughs> oh. and then we put the milk and the cereal in. Oh my god! And so you filled your ass <laughs> up, and but so oh, it's not about necessarily the prolapse; it's just open wide. Yeah, it's just okay. Yeah, like it's gaped. Yeah. Do you yeah, have yeah. to no? So oh, it's gaped. That's what it's called. Do you have to perform some kind of? thing with your muscle to gape it or is it just naturally gaped at that point after wearing the butt no the i have to like push out and relax myself hmm. otherwise I, it's so like it won't work you know right it closes up on you and, yeah and so yeah. you get on your back your partner pours milk in there and then he ate the the fruit loops i'm assuming i will i get in doggy position and then my oh. asshole is basically up in the air, oh, I see. and wow. he just kind of spreads it. And then, you know, we do a POV shot of him eating it out of my ass. Did he give you a bite? Yeah, yeah. He nice. spit it into my mouth. I oh, can't believe it. that three separate people asked for that. That's incredible, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. That is incredible that three <laughs> separate people requested that. <laughs> and did, did they give you yeah. feedback when, you got, when they got the video from you? Mm, yeah, they were just kind of like, oh, can I order another one? But it wasn't fruit looping for the rest of them. It was like other other types of things. Dude, I Wow. And so, um, so when you when you were getting the milk out, do you just kind of shit a bunch of milk out? How does that work? <laughs> yeah, just kind of like projectile <laughs> falls on the floor oh, kind of situation. And, and it's, it's fine to have milk in that area? It's milk. 
I don't really know. You have shit in there. I, mean, I think so. I mean, it can't be worse than yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an asshole. So it's like right. you it's, know, free, it's free reign. Good point. Yeah. It's free reign. It's free. It's free, it's free real estate. <laughs> Okay, wow. Well, that yeah, is I that is shock. Uh, I didn't. You guys. What's that? A lot of people asked us to role play as you two. Don't oh, say and that. do a video. Oh, no. I don't like that. <laughs> Neither do I. We didn't do it. Oh, nice. oh you didn't? Oh, that's nice of you. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. We didn't get the consent we needed, so I was like, yeah, it's a no go. You do not nice. have consent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, so we also, uh, you asked us last time what was the freakiest thing we ever done, but we never actually got to tell you, but we were thinking about it the other night, and uh, we actually wanted to tell you if you guys wanted to hear it. Sure, I'd love to. Alright, um, so we fucked in a Caesars Palace parking lot with a bus <clears> in, <throat> and I was also harboring a nerd's rope in my asshole. You fucked in a parking lot. Yeah, a I gotta yeah. process all the yeah. words. Wait, okay. You said you fucked. I got that you fucked in the parking lot. And then what was in the next? In a Caesar's Palace parking lot. And then what was the next thing? With a uh, busseth. It's um a oh. sex toy, and it has a mouth, an asshole, and a pussy. So we call it a busseth. You know, like butt, mouth, pussy. Okay. What did you do with the Not busseth? <laughs> so he was fucking me through the busseth. So. He, he was essentially double penetrating me and the sex toy. Okay. And then, what was and then, then I had a nerd rope in my ass because it was for an anniversary trip. You had what in your ass? I was. A nerd <laughs> What's a what nerd rope? I think like the candy nerds. Like, but on yeah. Happy. I gotta. I actually gotta stop you. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like gaping. I feel like fruit looping is way crazier than that. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. I don't know. I guess because it was in public, yeah, we thought public it was like a lot crazy. crazier. Yeah. Nerds rope. Let me Google this. <laughs> Dude, you have someone shit on you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's not. That doesn't. She's, she's saying that they, it gets extra bonus well, points for being in public. Well, they fucked in public. I mean, a lot of people do that. Just the fact that you had a nerds up your ass and, 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 and you were fucking a sex toy at the same time. I saw them do something gnarlier on their OnlyFans. What do you see, Zach? She pegged him. No, oh, that's not that. That I mean, that's pretty normal, Zach. I don't know why. You, the girls have pe people shit on her, Zach. <laughs> Pegging is nothing. Did, did you just hear her describe Fruit Looping? That's that's too you know vanilla for me. What? Zach, stop. <laughs> I don't believe you. So what else? What uh, what other world. fetishes uh, besides the fruit loop? Just when you, when when people order, people are screaming stop, but I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I don't understand why people don't like this. I find this so fascinating. Talk to me, baby. It's just funny how people say stop, and then like thousands of people sub to me, and it's like, hmm. Kind of questioning. <laughs> Do they really want us to stop here? So, when people request foot stuff, what are they? Well, you tell me what, what. Break it down for me. The Fruit Looping, three of those. What was the the most popular request you got? Definitely feet. Anything uh -huh. with feet, they wanted really bad. Wow. And how much you charge for that? <laughs> Only like fifty, because it's not a big job. Interesting. What was the most? Ex yeah, I had what was the most expensive request that you processed? Oh. um... Somebody asked if I could put a dildo in my mouth while my husband fucks me and then also get fucked in the ass. So I had all three holes going mm -hmm. and he wanted like POV, front shot, like top view, like just lots so of that, wow. that was a wild ride because he wanted it to be twenty minutes long. So Holy Wow, they even requested so a lot of pounding. Yeah. All my holes were hurting. Oh my and God. so how much did you charge for that? That was Three hundred dollars. Girl, you got to fucking step it up, man. I can't. I like doing it. Like, yeah, I know, but deal. still, you're you got to make a living you gotta, here. You got to get paid. Yeah, and you're putting in work. I mean, it's fine that you like it, but damn, you got to get paid. You're working hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Raina. Telling me that everybody was saying they agreed with you with that. Yeah, I mean, someone with that specific of a request is going to shell out more money. Ben, this drunk guy in the UK, just gave us three hundred pounds. I don't even know what for. <laughs> you know what I mean? He definitely paid more to see you eat Fruit Loops out of your ass. <laughs> Anyone yeah. request balloon popping? 
Um, no. I mean, you guys didn't show the video, so they didn't know that I did that. I mean, mm. I don't think people know that that's a thing. Okay. Well, she does balloons, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everybody's screaming over it. All I don't know right. why everyone's... Like, you guys oh, got to chill, bro. I like Rena. I thank you. Thank you for describing Fruit Looping. I thought that was really exciting. And uh, Thanks. Just, Thank you. I'm glad. I'm, I'm just glad you guys are doing well and having fun. And you should be charging more, okay? All right, thanks. Thank you. We All right, guys, you. take Thank care. Guys. God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so you guys all knew what Fruit Looping was. I'd heard of that before, yeah. Oh, really? Man, can you believe That's three wild. separate people requested it? No. Something with our fans like Fruit Will you Fruit Loop fruit for looping. me for our anniversary? <laughs> Oh, Zach says he has drunk Ben. Uh, I have drunk Ben. Up. Bring you Ben. Do? Let's go, Ben. <laughs> I had you get drunk Ben. He messaged me. All right, bringing him in now. All right, we have He's drunk online. Ben, who made three you separate one hundred. Hello. Drunk Ben. Hello. Drunk Ben. Hey, turn down. Uh, turn down the stream in the How's background, Ben. Drunk Ben, your stream is on. <laughs> oh shit! What's going on? <laughs> Ben, do you, can you afford to give us 300 pounds? Yeah, there's a good reason for, for that today, actually. I've uh, just got a, a new job today, so I thought, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Well, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. A good, a good job. Well, congratulations, you, drunk Ben. Thank you, man. Thanks, Ben. All right, well, thanks for calling in. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That was that. Nice. What do you do for a living? <laughs> No man, uh, appreciate the uh, the the random call and uh, thanks to everyone in the chat as well. It's very very kind. I've had some nice 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 words and everyone's been saying nice things about me. That's good, even though they only know my name. <laughs> hey, drunk Ben, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am a uh, web developer. Oh, nice. Oh. So you probably make some good cheddar. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad, it's not bad. But um, you know, COVID's been pretty, pretty, pretty shit. So you know, everyone's got to look after themselves and, and try new things. So it's all good. Um, don't feel sorry for me. I don't. <laughs> 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 but I appreciate the. I appreciate you very much, Drunk Ben. Tell yeah, me, um, are you just home drinking by yourself? I am. Yeah, my girlfriend's oh. upstairs. She has no idea this is happening. <laughs> is she going to be mad? Do you guys share like a bank account? Uh, no, fortunately, she's uh, she works she works for uh, Aldi um, sort of UK superstore thing. But um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to be telling her about this later. In fact, what I'm going to do is show her tomorrow the whole thing, and she'll be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you drinking, drunk Ben? Uh, I drink Stella Artois, which is a sort of... Ah, uh, you're uh, posh, bro. <laughs> All right, you're doing good. You're killing it. Yeah, we All call right. it wife, wife beater over here. Really? Say what? Yeah. If you if you ask anyone who drinks Stella over in the UK, they call it wife beater. Why? Why is that? Because anyone who drinks it, basically, it's really strong lager, and you go home and you, you just beat your missus up. <laughs> do you do that, Ben? You you just be basically if you drink it in a pub, everyone says, "Oh, that guy drinking Stella." Oh, he's yeah. gonna be he's gonna be go home beat, beating up his wife when he gets back. Are you gonna <laughs> beat? You're not gonna beat your wife up, Ben, are you? No, absolutely okay, not. I do not advocate okay. that in the slightest. However, <laughs> those who can handle their drink, then you know it's all good. But those who can't, maybe I don't know. I can't speak for them. Right. Can't speak for them. Drunk Ben, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, you're okay. I just want to make sure you could afford it. Please don't do any chargebacks. Oh, yeah, we good. love you. Appreciate that. No, All right. I, I've been watching you for a while, you guys. Here. Thanks, uh, brother. You know, Appreciate all you. All the way since uh, the, um, the early memes and stuff you were doing. So all the sort of edited stuff you were doing. With, oh, you know, yeah, back this, in the day. Stuff, so. Well, thank yeah, you for watching. Man, so. Thank you, bye. Yo, Appreciate uh, enjoy. You. See you later. All right, take care. Thanks, bye -bye. Ben. <laughs> top, isn't, top bloke right there. Wait, top lad. I thought Stella <laughs> was lad. a weak beer. Uh, <laughs> dark. Uh, I'm not going home. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't Stella really think of it as a Your Honor, I had Stella. It says it's about 5%. 5.2? <laughs> uh, 5.2 like, is like, pretty average for yeah. a beer. Right? Yeah. Your Honor, there's a good reason why I beat my wife. Stop, I had, not I was your ID. Stella. <laughs> 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 Costa, that's not your name. 
Oh, anyway. we should share. We didn't have an opportunity to mention uh, that guy turned uh, of age, legal drinking age. There was a post on the subreddit. The Chapel, the guy with the, the guy wearing the Teddy Fresh. Yeah. Shirt. Wait, what do you mean he turned legal? Age? Oh, did he have a fake ID? Yeah, it was his birthday uh, <laughs> recently, and uh, there was a big post on the subreddit about it. That I he, missed uh, it. He doesn't need the fake ID anymore. You got to get a hold of oh. Chapel. <laughs> I need no, Chapel in my life. <laughs> Yo, before I leave, I saw this on. I saw gosh, this on, on Reddit, Reddit. I guess. Too, yeah. You know, this. This is this is just amazing. This low quality. I don't think it was this low quality when I watched it. Oh my god. Oh, a boot? Yeah, it's a boot. Oh my god. He's licking it, bruh. I'm just nauseous. No. On the fucking bus. On the subway. Why? He's like munching on shit, dude. He's good chunks. You can see him oh. chewing. Yes, missus. Do you have oh. that sound like that? Yes, miss. Yes. He is really going for it, isn't he? Some people are like obsessed with leather. Like, they rub it on their face and smell it and. I guess look at it. Bro, he's eating chunks off the bottom Ew. of the boot. Did he just Ew. find that? I mean, is this just his girl's... Is this his mistress's boot? How does that happen to someone like... Bro, unfathomable abuse, a child trauma. Not only to do that, but to also do it in public. Unfathomable child trauma. Wow. That made me so nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it, look at look at the suggestions. It's like ASMR intense ear licking. <laughs> ASMR intense tingles. Here, let's watch ear licking ASMR. Why was this suggested to me related to that video? Because it seems like in the same realm, right? <laughs> like it's ASMR to watch that. It's guy. just kind of like BDSM kind of weird. <laughs> Bro, I would totally be down to watch you do this. this video live is on an Twitch. hour li long. Here, hang on. An hour. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, fucking hate this. I hate it. <laughs> How are people going to tell me that ASMR isn't sexual? Why are we having this debate still? I don't understand how people can tell me that ASMR is not just like... Well, I think the debate is that it's not all sexual. It's not all sexual. Yeah. Okay. Like, did you really have to get mics that look like ears? Like, they look like ears. I love it! Can we close it? I think those are like specialized ASMR uh, Thank you, Zach. Great. <laughs> you like it, Zach? I'm into it. In what way? Like a sexual way or like... No, it's just sad. It sounds satisfying. But why the ear? Why does it have to look like an ear? And then she sucks it like she's doing something sexual. God bless. I feel like this is not appropriate to watch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is not safe for work. Well, Ian used to I watch ASMR. What do you think? I don't think you watched this. Did you, Ian? Everyone's demanding we stop. The chat is exploding. I was watching the PS5 one I sent you the other day. You were watching what, <laughs> Ian? The PS5 ASMR I sent. What the fuck is that? What is a PS5 ASMR? I, I, linked, I just linked it to you. I'll type it in Google. This one here? It's in the Discord. Okay. Wow, you're really desperate for that PS5. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. So this is a ASMR for people who did not get a PS5 for Christmas. <laughs> I hope you are doing well. Thank you. Although, I'm pretty sure you are not right. given the that facial hair is a problem. Situation so this is... Okay, I understand it's a joke, so why is it an hour and six minutes? I'm going to skip forward. Did this help you, Ian? <laughs> yeah, I think it helped me overcome the fact that I do only have the PS4. Tearing open a wound and smashing salt. This doesn't sound it. relaxing. Let me tear open some more. Here, he's got the PS4. Three. Three. Oh no, even worse. Oh. Tapping on the console. I'll power it on so you can enjoy that wonderful sound of the of the PS3 as it uh, runs. See, isn't this calming? You watch this, Ian? How much of it did you watch? A yeah, good 20 minutes. Oh my god. Someone said I became a member to tell you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> 
Somebody uh, donated five pounds, said, Zach must be a mediocre shag if pegging is shocking. Peace Ooh, and love. Peace and love. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think getting pegged. I don't think not wanting to get pegged means you're a bad lover. <laughs> but it's well, not, I think it was more about because uh, Zach said he he was shocked by seeing the pegging. I video. agree. It's not shocking. You got busted, Zach. I wouldn't say it's shocking. It's just the Fruit Loops. I mean, I've seen it a hundred times, man. Really? You seen Fruit Looping? Oh yeah, bro. How is this not porn? There's two. Look at this. This is like more sexual than any of the weird shit we've seen. Two girls. Double teaming an ear. Look at this. Here we go. This is crazy. <laughs> Stop, dude. Look at this. <laughs> this is not safe for work, right? Uh, yeah. It'd be hard to explain. <laughs> oh, they're twins. Oh my God, you guys. <clears throat> the twins are back. <sighs> oh, they must actually do porn because it says. <laughs> They have a Patreon. What's with Zach? <laughs> yeah, let me read the comments. If you love YouTube, then you'll love YouTube Live. This is... Uh, bro, okay, just... Can we stop? I just ima No! <laughs> just imagine watching this and someone walking in. You know that joke where you say, I turned on porn real fast? It's easier to explain. <laughs> This is pretty epic. YouTube think, I mean, should this be considered pornography? Because it has like 800,000. Oh, wow. This was just uploaded last month and it already has 800,000 views. So this is pretty. This is big time. This is a viral ASMR video. So do you think this should be like age restricted? Because technically it's not showing anything, but my God. Right? Thoughts? Look, everyone is done mentally. Everyone's over it. Oh, somebody pointed so out too much. Yeah, it's same they're girl. not actually. It's the same girl. Oh no way! The frame is divided down the middle. If you look carefully at the oh, mic when well, she's that, touching it, you can see it's. That's uh, actually pretty cool. I have to give her props on that. It's pretty creative. Uh, all right, all right. You mean right here? Yeah. I yeah. See that. Oh well, that actually makes me appreciate this more. <laughs> in a way, doesn't it? I mean, good catch. Whoever uh, noticed that. Cool. Get some howdies. Look at this thumbnail. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. We had a good run, didn't we? We had a pretty good Let run. Let me see if there's any other videos we can watch real fast. Um, oh, what did you guys think? A bunch think? of people donating and said uh, that they're wearing headphones and these ASMR videos are killing them. Yeah. Right. Are these real Stop! or elaborate fakes? Somebody explain what the fuck is going on here. Zach? Zach went through a lot of effort to prove that these are elaborate fakes. He, okay. There's a PowerPoint in the dock right below this link. Because, so, this went viral on TikTok, and when I saw it, I was like, man, how's this guy's head not on a peg? Did we talk about this? No. 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 Okay. And so, I was like, how's this guy's head not on a pike? He's on TikTok, and he's getting the queen. Yeah. It's not the queen. But it, it has 8 million likes, and people were like, dude, what is this? And he has a whole series of videos of him apparently uh, getting the queen on TikTok and not giving a fuck about her. Why would they... Well, gosh, why would, uh, they, research. why would they fake this all for a TikTok? Well, let, me, let me view some of his other ones. Oh, yeah, you're off frame. You're, you're cutting off frame slowly. I am. <laughs> You just, when you Here's another video of him with the queen, apparently. Let's see. It looks... Yeah, that's not the queen. She's, like, in some weird, like, corner. She's <laughs> just, like, in a <laughs> closet. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, that's not, that's not the queen. You were adamant that she was, though. Well, at first, because there was so many... It had so much engagement. So, but let's see what the... Let's see your PowerPoint. I'm curious. Zach hours has, and hours. Yeah, hours Zach has put a lot. <laughs> Proof it's not queen. Okay. Not that queen. All right. Here's Queen Elizabeth. Yes, thank you, Zach. <laughs> Great research so far. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hours. The imposter. Right. Okay. Nice little zoom crop wow, there. This is Very compelling. <laughs> <laughs> side by side. I mean... Looks the same. It looks like the same person, if I'm being totally honest. That actually looks more queen. like them. That looks just like her, dude. 
It's the same haircut, but if you notice the facial features, it, it's off. You're talking about this face that's like entirely <laughs> shadowed and pixelated? Exactly. <laughs> this ain't Queen. That's it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, wait, they, they look very similar, don't they? It ain't I mean, the they, Queen. Sure, they look similar. I, I don't think it's... I it can't be. It can't exactly be. That same. guy would be in fucking an addition. Ian, you see this PowerPoint? Learn from Zach. <laughs> You know, I am a little intimidated, I gotta say. <laughs> I worked hours on it. Uh, Somebody donated to talk about Skippy. Is there... Why? What's up with Skippy? Yeah, what's up with Skippy? Did he send you some yeah, kind of he, pancake art? He, he posted a new video yesterday. He had COVID. Yeah, um, I heard that. Oh, see, uh, now, Zach, you could have watched this. That doesn't look like the queen at all. And obviously the queen isn't taking selfies with people. You were adamant on it, though. You were like, this is the fucking queen. I like. wasn't that adamant, chill. <laughs> Brad, this is horrible. The ruse is up, dude. You shouldn't have posted this. Okay, so what about Skippy? What's going on with him? So he had COVID. He's better now. I talked to him yesterday. Great. I was messaging with him. Mm -hmm. um, he has a new pad. Um, oh, good. He um, yeah. he's getting back in the dating world, and in his nice. new video he posted, he's going after Mormon milfs. Is what oh. he said. Did he explicitly say Mormon milfs? Mormon milfs, yes. Skip. And <laughs> he's on some Mormon dating site, and he reached out to five people. Uh, his wording exactly. Yeah, go ahead. Was um. One said she would think about it. One said no. Two haven't responded. One might be a fake profile, but I'm trying. Someone said they think about it. What did he say to them? Uh, he said, "Hi, I'm guessing I'm not your type, but I have a YouTube channel Come with 25,000 subscribers, <laughs> and was wondering if you'd like to chat with me about being single, and you can promote your YouTube channel or Instagram or whatever. Let me know if you're interested." Skippy, <sighs> this is not how it's done. So he's on a he's, cycle. First of all, he's saying, I'm sure I'm not your type. He's putting himself in the friend zone right out the gate. Right. Like, dude, Skippy. Yeah. Come he's on. on a, man. He's on a site called Mutual, which is a Mormon Tinder, and then he's going to make a hinge. Okay. Well, he's, he's, he's trying. Also, uh, look at what I just put in uh, Discord. Did he do. He told me that he was doing some kind of a. Uh, Okay, Dan, whatever. It was a whole conversation. Dan is trying to expose me. Here's from our WhatsApp chat. That can't be the real queen. It is, for sure. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> wow. Um, did he send you... He told me that he was going to commission some pancake art for us. Okay. Uh, did he send that to you guys? I... Never received. It was like a whole big deal. He was super excited. He was like, I'm going to make a pancake. There's this guy who makes pancake art, and I'm going to pay him to do pancake portraits of all you guys. I was like, cool, dude. Send it to Dan or Zach. Yeah, I have not received, I have not received any pancake art as far as I've seen. So. Mm. What a disappointment. Still got, yeah, you still got to make good on that. Well, I want it to be like, just save your money. I don't need the pancake art, but I don't want to let the guy do his thing. You know, If he wants to get me a pancake, then fuck it. Oh, here's pancake. Wait, here's a pancake. Oh, is this it? Here it is. Mute this fucking music. It's only a minute long. So, exactly, pancake art. Uh, Skippy got a pancake portrait for himself? <laughs> Skippy, what about me? I've done everything for you. I'll hit him up. Oh, he, this guy draws it backwards. Uh. Yo. I don't want to be like a pain in the ass sack, but I feel like he can't promise me pancake art and then renege on it. <laughs> I'm going to hit him up. Like, he just got himself pancake art? I don't know. Just not right. That's really cool. That's all I'm saying. Wow. Yeah, wow. That is pretty sick. Yo, where's my fucking pancake art, Skippy? You paid for your own pancake? <laughs> How much did it cost to get, to get a pancake art? I think it's art? like 25 or something. I'm texting him right now. Cost 20 yeah, tell him that I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't tell him that. 
They're saying Skippy for Bachelor. Hmm. That's, yeah, but... Uh, Skippy for Bachelor? That could be pretty amazing, actually. Is that actually... That actually would be amazing. <laughs> no? You don't like the idea? <laughs> he's, he's too picky. He's, he's gonna very be, picky. He's very picky. Yeah, you want to risk the perfect streak? Right. I don't know. Well, maybe what I'm doing, maybe it's not the risk. Maybe I'm not giving Skippy the chance to meet true love. Maybe it's not the streak. Maybe the streak is perfect by. It, it can't not be perfect. He's going to find true love if he's the bachelor. That's what I'm saying. I want love. Yeah, well, right. take a back seat, buddy. You ain't make me no pancake art. <laughs> Neither did Skippy. Yeah, <laughs> let's take a vote. Here, send a, okay, let's send a straw poll. Do people um, want Skippy or Zach as Batch? No, someone here saying, please stop with the constant James Charles hate when you can say you're pro Shane Dawson podcast and he has actually done gross stuff. Do better. Wait, wait, wait read it again. Please stop with the constant James Charles hate when you can say you're a pro Shane Dawson podcast and he has done gross stuff. Shut up. Do bad. James Charles what a James Charles stole yeah. our fucking design. He's out there spreading COVID. At least Shane, as he far as I know, is not trying to kill people. He directly did something against Ethan and Hila. Sister it's, snap. It's fucking personal, <laughs> okay? Also, most oh, of no. it is jokingly. It's not I'm, yeah, well, for actually, I do think James Charles is a massive douche. I'm not, I don't, I'd have no beef with Shane. But Shane, is, or I mean, but, but James Charles is out there literally giving people COVID. Like, he doesn't give a fuck, dude. And also, as far as I could tell, he was inside the Capitol building. People are asking questions. <laughs> Sister snatched. Bruh. We've talked about the Shane stuff. It's not like we're completely ignoring it. There's clearly a lot of... Uh, it's a complicated situation. We've talked about it. You doing a poll, Dan? Yeah. Okay, good. Is it out? All right, this is... Yeah, we're gonna I posted get... one. Okay, Zach or Skippy? You Wait, guys what? decide now. You already posted one? Post it in Discord so I can well, see the results. Well, never mind then. What? Post it. Send I'm, me the thing. I'm, I'm posting it in the chat for... You guys decide. Someone else right posted a different right one. Now. Well, that one's not official. Here's the real one. Which one is What do you not mean official? it's not official? Just don't worry about it. Some, some <laughs> random person made a poll. That, oh, okay. that one doesn't count. This is the real one. What, is Ian okay. that random person? Yeah, I made a poll, but it's all good. He's not a random person. He's Ian. He just said somebody else did. It's and okay, Dan. to himself as somebody else. It's fine, Dan. Okay, send me the polls so I can look at it. you today, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Having a dead air moment because nobody's sending me the poll. Send me the fucking poll. Dude. It's a copy Dan, page. Get that mayo. <laughs> okay, Zach. Yeah, people want Zach. I saw Ela voted for Zach. Don't. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I Thank you, Eva. Anonymously. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. That's a clear win for Zach. But that's okay, Skippy. We'll find you love another time. You feel good destroy destroying Skippy's dreams, Zach? Actually, no, because he's such a kind-hearted dude, and like, he's such a nice guy. And yeah, but I feel so. Well, I maybe feel we'll bad. do Skippy after. All right, I, f I feel like we've we've definitely ran out of uh, show here. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little bit. But the good news is it's the weekend. We've had a great fun week. We're going to be back next week, some more great content. Uh, that's it. You know, thank you for everyone who donated, who's, any, who's a any member. Any donations we should read, A.B.? Someone asked, what's our New Year's resolutions? I'm trying to find the name. Mm. I don't make New Year's resolutions. Every day is a new day. Me neither. Did anyone make a New Year's resolution? No. Nope. Yeah, mine was to not play any sound bites in the background, but I ruined it the first You're show. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, Ashley's the one that New donated. Year's resolutions suck. It's like the whole concept of it is very depressing because... It's just setting you up to fail. If you yeah. really want to do something, don't wait for the new year. Little drummer boy said, please have Zach. You can't miss the opportunity to call it the Zatchler. Right. Yeah, the Zatchler. Zatchler. Too it's good. pretty good. Yeah. Right. How do I join the Discord channel? I'm a member. Uh, link your Discord account to your YouTube account in the Connections tab in Discord. And once we you've got done that, you can join the channel. Another girl 
saying, I totally agree, the obsession with James is weird. It's not weird. It's fun. What's Wait, weird I'm not that obsessed. I'm not like, how obsessed am I? You're obsessed. I'm not obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get glam. It's just fun. I'm not like thinking about him all day. Can an Aussie sign up for the batch? Mm. Mm. Nah. Mm. Different area code. <laughs> Different country code. Sister. All right. Before leaving, please watch the Teddy Fresh commercial. What is I'm that? not sure what is that. I don't know what that is. Guys, the show is over. It's clearly over. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to our members, to our donors. Starting next week, we're putting everything up a day early that's not live. We're going to make an effort to do that, including Frenemies. You guys deserve it. God bless you. Thank you all. Um, peace and love. Peace and, peace and love. love. Peace and love. What was that guy's name? Uh, D'Angelo. Love him. Hmm, what a great, great best, friend. Best, friend. best friend. Best friend. I followed him on Twitter. He doesn't follow anyone, but he's the best. We love him. Anything else? Um, let's enjoy the weekend, even though we can't do anything. We don't have a car this weekend, it's gonna be... Right. Oh, this video? I made a commercial for Teddy Fresh. Oh. I'm afraid to watch it, because if I don't like it, then I'm gonna feel like a douche. You know what I mean? This guy is relentless. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it on. Here, here's the commercial for Teddy Fresh, God bless. Uh, I'm also afraid to play the music because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. I mean, this is sick, bro. Thank you, dude. <sighs> Thank you for coming into all my live streams as well. So I don't want to spam and get in the way of, you know, people doing their jobs. That's why I finally decided to upload it here to YouTube. So please, if you for any reason made it to this video and you think it's worth being watched by Ela. Please, my fellow Edge 3, Teddy Fresh. Wait, we're watching it now. What did I mean? You skipped like three him. minutes. Into I don't it. know how to. <laughs> <by> <laughs> All this right, this guy. All right. I mean, it's cool. It's just it's your friend wearing a hoodie. Hello, my name is Diego. I'm a filmmaker, and I made that commercial you just saw. This was a spec <laughs> commercial, which means that I made this for free in order to pitch it to the company. I just legitimately. Bro, we don't do. The... Yeah. Thank I you for making that, but what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, Caddy keeps going. James is better than you guys. That's why you have oh! 25 million subs and you can't even get three. Okay, Katie. <laughs> Katie West oh, okay. just paid me 10 Katie bucks is to totally talk James. Shit. I love talking to you <laughs> Katie West over donations. <laughs> Wait, is the donation minimum five bucks? No, you can donate less than so five. So why does she keep giving me like a ton of money? I don't know. To talk She's shit. not the brightest. Get the fuck out! James is the best. No, James sucks. You now your turn. Right. I disagree. James is a bitch. Now your turn. He stormed the Capitol. Oh my God! This is the T. Hi, sister. Uh, okay. Cool. Do you want to say anything to him? Um, With stuff to do. So it was probably not the best timing um, to reach out to them. Would it be funny if we bought it for a commercial but didn't use this part? Just used him. <laughs> Just use this. I legitimately love the brand and I wanted to make a commercial for them in the hopes that they would see it. What? He's gonna be, he's gonna be sad. What can I say to him? I That's love. You shouldn't have watched it. I well, I tried not to, but he's spamming it in the chat. I didn't want to watch it because I knew I was gonna watch it and be a dick. Like I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> but then why? Why'd you put it on that? You sent it in the Discord. I didn't. I didn't Somebody said it in the Discord. I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, God bless him. You know what? I love the guy. He he's took his shot. He got it in front of me, and fair enough. And I sister. Oh, I, I, it's clearly. I mean, what am I supposed to do with it? Do you want me to run it on TV? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> do you know what it's I mean? It's my fault. It's my fault. I've given false hope to the fans. Ab, what did you do? You talked to what this guy. What did you do, Ab? No, 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 not to him. I'm saying just that now, like all the applications I get are like I've been a fan for like eight years. Like they really think I just got a job from simping. Hmm. <laughs> like, no, you did. So. <laughs> <laughs> you did kind of. Okay. Oh, no. You just invited. You invited a lot what? more applications. I thought you were supposed to be relaxed, Ab, on the but beach. What? But what is it? Oh. He's chilling. 
I mean, I mean, no, I mean, sure. God bless the guy. I mean, he just, yeah, he, he's been spamming it like every episode and he came into, he's been coming into my lives as well. <laughs> Wait, drunk Ben said to Katie, you donated another five. And hey, he Katie. said, hey, Katie, drink, drink Stella. Stella. Uh, <laughs> drunk Ben's going to beat your ass. <laughs> drunk Ben, get her. We love Drunk Ben. Drunk ben. <laughs> this guy's been spamming your chat, AB? <laughs> Yeah, my live streams. I mean, I mean he's like a nice guy, and I'm not I'm not shit talking. I'm just I saying just, it's not it's not. It's fine. He's a nice guy. I think it's a good. I mean, it's a little weird edit, if he's spamming but... ABs live. Who like, you kidding, eh? By the way, it's it's pretty cool, but it's not that good to be spamming ABs live. With peace and love, of course. <laughs> I'll I'll take the heat for Ethan. I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, I spent an, I, I made my video on Ethan, I would never have spammed it. Like, I, n I never would have thought that's the way to get in front of Ethan and Ela. Hmm. Someone sent me an, a Photoshop of me in front of, a, in a, like a cover of a comic book and said, I'm trying to get a job on the show and this is me showing my creativity. With peace and love. My, my forehead was cut off, but. I didn't understand Bruh. that, like, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, everyone's, uh, Everyone's trying to get a job. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't force it. If it happens, it happens. You know, AB was oh, out yeah, there. We sure. came across, across him. The thing is, Ian did it before anybody thought to. And Ian went through a very careful vetting process. I think so, right, Dan? Didn't you vet him? Yeah, we did. You, I mean, we just gave him an interview. I mean, it wasn't that deep. Didn't do a background check on him or anything. Dan called me. He said, "You want a job?" <laughs> yeah. I, what was it like when you first talked to That's what happened with me too. <laughs> really? I met Dan at a coffee bean, and like we hit it off, and like. Well, yeah. He well, called you me. had you had emailed a couple times. Uh, Zach had emailed right when we were talking already about hiring a sound guy. So it was very coincidental. It was like the next day after we had had a conversation about it. Got an email from Zach saying, "I'd love to offer my services." So I met with him, and we gave him a shot. Same thing with Ian, right? You guys met at a coffee shop? I don't think that, I think you guys interviewed Ian. That's what I'm no. saying. I don't think I vetted Ian. No, Nobody I kept emailing. Yeah, I think That's we not just what happened, invited right, him to the office. You don't remember anything, shot. Dan. That's not what happened, right, Ian? Uh, <laughs> Wait, we got Dan another message from me Katie. One time. Hold, Hold on. on. Katie's talking shit again. Another 499. She said, I'm convinced everyone in the comments and Ethan. And Eva. Not Eva? Oh, and Ethan, yet. not Ela, are, are just, just old, old and bitter, bitter and jealous of James' success. <laughs> We're arguing with the twelve-year-old at this point. Dude, I, dude, just, I just made go. like twenty bucks from the, from her. <laughs> or should I say, I just made twenty bucks from her mom, who's gonna charge back. <laughs> Katie, I disagree. You now your turn. No, Katie. <laughs> I'm just he kidding. sucks. James yeah, Charles James sucks. sucks. You Got can, can we get Katie in? I want to talk to yeah. Katie. <laughs> So can, real quick, I just messaged Skippy for the pancake videos, and he's all, I emailed him to you, and he emails me a Google Drive folder, and there's nothing in it. <laughs> Dude, that's like when okay. you, did you guys ever do this trick in college where you put, like, you change the extension so it's corrupt? No. <laughs> so they can't open it, and then you have more time to do it? That's, that's what funny. Skippy just did. That's funny. So, Ian, what actually happened with Dan? Um... Dan called me yes. one day. Mm -hmm. He goes, yeah, you, you know what you're doing? He's making all this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I want to know what a, happened. You ever seen a camera? <laughs> I said once or twice. He went, you're hired. <laughs> and then I came in. No, it was very brief. He asked me a couple questions and uh, then gave me the address. What? No in person, no nothing. I thought no you nothing. met him. <laughs> <laughs> No one met me. I just walked in one day. Dude, Dan, I was under the impression that Dan like vetted you and shit, and that he liked also, you and he met with you. I think you're might I also, be confusing that whole story with Zach because that's you what brought with Zach. a psycho into my life <laughs> you guys like that. Told without, no. Did you know well, we on the phone or something? Me? No. Because you emailed us a bunch, and I was like, you know what? Maybe this guy. There's something to this. Ian guy. was emailing me a bunch, and I knew that we were gonna need help. So I was like, it's nice to do that consistent and he really wants good. the job yeah so i was like well maybe at some point we'll have more time but i don't have time to really check in on this but and then when we had dan i was like dan can you can you check him out mm. yeah. that's how i remember we probably, it yeah, dan. We probably, 
I'm sure he we could have killed us, bro. He could have straight up strangled <laughs> me live on the podcast. <laughs> he still might. I trust him. Yeah, don't rule Christina it out. here you, said Dan. it took me 10 minutes to figure out how to do this. Just to say, I thought Zach had a porn star and girlfriend. How can he be The Bachelor? You already broke up with your porn star girlfriend, right? They already broke up. We're, we're friends. We just, yeah. What just... happened with that relationship? I'm curious. Can I talk to you um, about it now? I wanted to ask you. A... Yeah. Um, I mean, we're friends. What I, happened? I think just... Did she dump you or did you? What happened? No, I, I decided that mm. um, I thought we'd be better off friends. Mm. And... Um, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna shit talk or anything because she's a great person. Right. But um, did you guys do any freaky stuff in the sack? <laughs> uh, no comment. Oh. Um, ben, but yeah. drunk Ben is still going. <laughs> I just found the first email Ian Slater ever sent me. Hi whoa. Dan, my name is Ian Slater. I've been whoa, speaking whoa. with Doxing, Ela. Doxing, Doxing, Doxing. <laughs> I've been here. speaking with Ela about interning for the podcast, and she passed along your emails so that we could sort out scheduling. <laughs> I'm currently putting together blah, 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 personal info or whatever. Thanks, Ian. P.S. I've been loving the send the news segment. It's fascinating. Thanks, Ian. Oh, fascinating. Oh. <laughs> Such a dick <laughs> sucks. <laughs> That was Did you send line. in a resume, Ian? I've never even seen that segment. <laughs> <laughs> send the nudes. Look at you trying to suck up the Dan. It worked. I'm here. Yeah, and it said, great, thanks. I'll reach out by phone tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Great talk to you then. And then we talked <laughs> okay. on the phone. I said, nice chatting with you. Looking forward to having you come in. And gave him the address. And the rest is history. So, so you just gave him the address like that? You had already vetted him. I did Listen not. Listen to the email. Then. We were already I at the remember. point of I said, scheduling him coming I in. said, Dan, bet him. <laughs> make well, sure did. he's not a freak. I, yeah. I spoke to him on the phone. That's not a vet. A you can't a make vet? sure. What's you can't, a vet? A vet is meeting someone in a coffee shop like you did with Zach. <laughs> yeah, you didn't oh, well. give me the address right away. Oh, well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it started off with a phone interview, and then you went over my resume. Yeah, because you seem like a weirdo, Zach, but you yeah. didn't seem cool. Well, what, what the fuck? How? Like... <laughs> Listen, and the, you trusted me to vet Ian, and look what we have, the fucking all-star of the podcast, Ian the fucking God, okay? It worked out. Nobody calls Ian the God. I do. <laughs> you know, I, have, I, I do have one confession with that call. I remember when I talked to Dan, he asked me if I'd switched before, and I'd said, yeah, I switched on this podcast <laughs> once, and he said, was it like a physical machine? And I was like, yeah, and no. You were just lying about all of that. You it made wasn't. all that up? <laughs> and you didn't ask any follow-up questions, Dan? Like what software, <laughs> what machine? I'm sure I did ask him. And did he, he did ask. Him? Well, I'd, I'd switched for one show one time on the computer. Hmm. But Dan had said, oh, was it a physical machine like a blah, blah, blah? And I said, like a uh, yeah. Or a, or and a he Ross said, yes, and you're like, cool, come kill us all. <laughs> And he said, oh, nice. Here's the address. Bring your fucking favorite knife. Which is exactly what happened. We're all dead in heaven right now. Damn. I was, I was on the toilet when Ethan offered me. I wasn't using it, but I was hiding in the bathroom at work at <laughs> my old job. Really? I thought I messaged you in the middle of the night. I was uh, getting out of my astronomy class when I uh, emailed Dan. You confirmed. Wow, fascinating. But you brought it up. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> this is interesting stuff, guys. It is kind of, but I get it. <laughs> Diego said, all cool. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> did uh, did Thanks, that Diego. girl, did the, did well, the James good. Stan donate any more money? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you, see. Dan. <laughs> I think Diego should keep making videos. <coughs> oh, Diego, right. That's what started all this. Here, let's watch I it. I agree. He's, he's, he's a great cinematographer. Commercial around the week of their last episode of the podcast so they were probably very saturated you know with stuff to do so it was probably i want to watch time. diego dan you sent you it don't watch the actual <laughs> commercial he sent i did it's no, just you, it. did. you watched like five seconds oh my god it. it's just her wearing the color block well, not, and it's like that's fine. Do, do, do. I, By the i'm way, not saying you should watch it but wait i already watched watch it <laughs> by the way dude i don't even think she's wearing our hoodie our beanie how are we going to do a teddy fresh commercial if she's not even wearing a teddy fresh beanie that's a good question. True. Like, bro, what huh. the fuck? Interesting. You know what I mean? That's not Teddy Fresh. Nothing in this shot is Teddy the shirt. Fresh. It's just a shirt. This, this is not yeah, Teddy Fresh. Is. This is not Teddy Fresh. This is not Teddy <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> like, what? You know what I mean? Like, okay, she's wearing a shirt under a coat.
Yes. Did we, did we make a uh, podcast That's it. email? I watched it. Are you happy, Dan? What? I wasn't encouraging you like, to watch I it. I just say, I, I know what was in it. I saw it. You <laughs> want me to tear it up again? No, do you want to watch the three minutes of him talking? <laughs> well, that's the majority that's the of the actually, video. Well, that... Yeah, I do want to watch. He wants you to watch. The I commercial. do want to watch him talking. I wonder what the fuck this is. I'm looking at. Hey, we just mean the way. Fun fact. It was great I'm camera work. Gay cin like uh, great cinematography. Excuse me, baby. I say great cinematography. <laughs> I'm looking at people saying grape in the chat. That's why. Why are they? And the haters. <laughs> Bro, I can't grape. even hear Diego. <laughs> why is everybody talking? What kind of fucking show is this where everybody talks over each other at the same time? <laughs> You know, we're all being a little too harsh on Dan. I just got to say, the send the news segment was really good. <laughs> Such a prick. Such a kiss ass. <laughs> Actually, maybe we should bring back send the nudes, though. Right. We did for like a minute, right? Ben, you got to stop donating. Making me worried. Oh, no. Stop. Ben. Drunk Ben. Ben he said, seriously web dev. He wants ben. a job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Stop. And there was another one that we stop, didn't read. Stop, drunk Ben. I'm serious. Where go? There, that one Can you check out down. my HG Podcast this comic one. strips? I sent them to Zach. He Would said no chargebacks, so only glory. Oh, nice. Should I watch some more of this guy's videos? I'm curious now. Diego. My filmmaking. Let's go. Your boy Diego. Let's fucking go. We got swords. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Cauldrons. Yes, queen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, that's Whoa. pretty sick. Ah. Uh, wish you pulled those stops out for my commercial. Maybe I'd be <laughs> fucking interested. <laughs> the budget was way higher than this. Oh, it's like a play. All right, Diego. You had your shot. How come he don't want me, man? Did anyway. we make a email for The Bachelor? Do we have one? It's too uh, late. Quote, quote. It's too late for that. I gotta wrap it up. <laughs> I'm hungry. You want Mexican food? Ta -ta. Can we order Mexican? Or just see it? I've left over hummus. Can we talk about food off the show? People like this. I feel like people like I feel it. like you're the only one that likes I find, it. <laughs> I think people are interested in our intimate conversations about food. Do they? I think you're just telling that to yourself. I, no, I, I agree. The chat loves it. Yeah, I, they love I genuinely daddy. think people want to hear that. Every single time, it's like, so do you want pizza tonight? Or, so do I you didn't want Mexican? Pizza. Okay, well, let's just pretend like they're not there, okay? <laughs> You're fat, fat, fat. Shut up, Trisha. I'm trying to have dinner. <laughs> Hila. Yes. Should we eat hummus that's in the fridge, or should we order I'm Mexican? I'm kind of over it, so. The hummus? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny because we bought a shitload of hummus and then. Well, it's good. You it's in the fridge. The other day, oh, you want to get some upstairs? I never really got over it. So. We have pita and everything. It's really good. Right, the pita is really My good. My stomach too. is like making noises right now. So, do you want Mexican or pizza or like Italian? I shouldn't eat pizza, but Mexican's much healthier than pizza. Agreed? Because pizza, yeah. Yeah, well, pizza's just. I mean, it depends if you eat a huge burrito. But I'm saying nutritionally, there's so much more in a burrito. Pizza's just cheese and bread. I mean. I guess. But at I least guess you could say that to yourself, but... but you've got to agree that there's more nutrition <laughs> in a burrito. Because you've got meat, you've got rice, you've got guac, you've got beans, you've got all these complex foods. And then pizza is just bread and cheese, right? <laughs> Does anyone agree with me on this? Am I crazy? I guess they agree with Maybe you. Maybe what are you doing uh, with your hand? Oh, I... <laughs> I was breaking up the pineapple so I could eat it. Oh, why are you really, you're really committed to this island thing? I go all in. <laughs> Pizza's actually very nutritious. Pizza's I'm the, I'm very the sec nutritious. Oh, Papa disagrees with me. <laughs> well, I don't care. I'll eat anything. You know I'm, you know I'm a skinny legend. Just saying legend. Ethan is using fat logic. <laughs> Wait, I am? You guys think I'm using fat logic? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Wait, I you can't tell yourself that a burrito is good for you. I'm saying between pizza and a burrito, a burrito might be healthier because it has more nutrition. Maybe by like I'm 2%. eating fatty. Shut up, Trisha. <laughs> doesn't involve you. You're fat, fat, fatty. Shut up. Wait, just so you guys know, I've been exercising every day since break. I've definitely lost weight. I don't know how much. I'm doing really good. I'm even people. People have been calling me a skinny legend. You are looking very good. I have to say. Thank you, Zach. Anyone else? 
<laughs> Aaron, you're looking good. <laughs> Uh, looking great. Thank you, A.B. That was not... I love pizza. That and did I love not people. say that with conviction. What is everybody saying grape stomp for? I don't know. What's grape with stomp? the grape stomp? I don't know what that means. I mean, I know there's great grape stomp videos on YouTube. One of my favorites is a grape stomp video. You want to watch it? The lady no. Of the lady falling or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's grape classic. Grape stomp fail. I is that know. what they're talking about? Here. They're saying calories are calories. Okay. Okay, what geniuses. Kind of grapes? <laughs> These are filled with Chamberson grapes, and the winner this Saturday who stomps the most juice will actually win an overnight Oh, we got a donation from James Charles. Ready? ready to try it? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Hey, sister. <laughs> Two bucks. Thank you, James. Still think you're a douche. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> ben donated $20 more to oh, buy. No. I have to sleep now. Good night, Bye. good night, Ben. ben. You're gonna You're regret. Go to sleep. You're gonna sorry, regret ben. all sorry. the money. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just email Dan done. if you want us to return it to you. <laughs> I will. Trump, ben. <laughs> so what's the okay, can here? we end this show? Don't you, you want to watch this? At least, you you at least watch the grape stomp. Everyone's been begging for it. <laughs> They're asking about Tom's injury if we've right. talked to him and, since. And if you, if you win, you get to stay at Chateau Alarm. It's not my story to tell. What else do you have going on here? Well, if Greg Stomping's not your thing, you can come and spend the day listening to live music, eating international foods, having wine tours and tasting, vineyard tours, seminars, arts and crafts. Trust me. It's a lot of fun. A whole Just day. trust me. So we've watched this video. Oh, oh. We gotta isolate that soundbite, Zach. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I was during the live broadcast. The TV really looked this Oh, bad. they want us to watch his injury video? Can we even? I thought I it was know. behind a paywall. Sure, I'll watch Well, it. the clip of it. Tom Segura accident. Dude, this shit was so crazy. I just want to watch... The clip. I think I watched this guy's video, and this is where I saw it. This doctor breaking it down. He got so unlucky. Well, he's like, not the typical like, athlete. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel horrible. I mean, he's, he got so messed up from this. I just got... He got so messed up from it, and... Like, the tearing of the ligament is one thing. Well, he's not the typical athlete we'd cover on this channel. Tom Segura oh, suffered a then, pretty unique injury. You know what yeah, sucks? It happened so fast, and like so, <laughs> so much damage happened. Dude, it almost looks like <laughs> just a normal fall. Like, but, but no. <laughs> this shot is unbelievable. Yeah. And then Bert comes and re just puts yeah. his arm back, which apparently was a good thing. Apparently, that was. I heard because the same. I thought I was like, oh wow, Bert just. Like ruined yeah. his life. Yeah, I would immediately think, don't touch. But somehow, right. Burnt is like an elite athlete, knows everything about the human anatomy, and everything he does is right. <laughs> but here he is. He just readjusts his arm. Look at this. Oh my God, Tom looks like he's passed out. I don't even know if he's conscious. Like, look at <sighs> he doesn't even move when Burnt readjusts that his arm. So <sighs> awful. So not only did he tear like his so foot awful. ligament, but he. Fell on his arm and broke his whole fucking arm. Like that's the part where God's just like, "Fuck you." I feel horrible. I mean, it's just horrible. It's a horrible injury. Just from a friendly <laughs> game. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, that poor guy. I just feel horrible for him. We said sister snap. Sister snap <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Oh, brother. He's he's all... I mean, he's Sister doing good. Snatched. He's doing good. He's a champ. He's in recovery. You know. All right. Is the show over? So, do we decide yeah, you want really Mexican or Italian? I can't do it on the show. Oh, no. Somebody says, Dan, you started to read my comment about an H3 comic strip and got me so excited that my heart jumped only to forget it and skip over it. Feels bad. Well, I just read it now. So, what happened? What are they talking about? James Charles says, stop using my name in Where's this trash the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for the three bucks, James. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to end this. Thank you, guys. Send any tips you have about James Charles in the Capitol building to the FBI. Where's the comic strip? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's, just, guys, it's just a donation. See you next week.
Have a great weekend. Ta ta. And the whole damn crew Goose and gaps with all the guests you'll see The best podcast in the world Take it from me, JC Hover chair, H3 baby We podcast now You're watching H to the three 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 Might drink some mayo while incest on the sleep Shredder will stop bombing